The four main speedrunning categories for Animal Crossing are all debts, paying off all your house debts, Golden Net, catching all 40 bugs, Golden Rod, catching all 40 fish, and 100%, obtaining all permanent structures in town, as well as a full museum and a full catalog for one player. But what isn't included are the permanent structures, bug plaques, and fish weather veins, which are obtained after catching all 40 bugs and fish and talking to a villager. One would think if 100% requires all permanent structures, these would be required too. But for some reason, that isn't the case. My best guess is the people who established the 100% speedrun rules several years ago decided the bug plaques and fish weather veins were just too much, even for a 70 hour speedrun at the time. Well, if they don't want to do it, I guess I will. I present to you my unofficial Animal Crossing speedrun, Max Player Houses. The goal is to collect all permanent structures for all four player houses starting from a brand new town. Am I crazy for attempting this? Probably, but the bug plaque and fish weather vane deserve some recognition. Here we go again. Oh, you got a you got an e-reader. Nice, Kyler. Now you can start scanning all those custom cards you're working on. <clears throat> That's great. That's exciting. That'll be fun. So I take it Toma finished the graphics <clears throat> and all the dialogue has been decided. Now it's just putting it all together with the dot codes. Alright, now I'm speedrunning. Now I'm warmed up. I'm ready for a good town layout anytime now. Oh, also, I updated Nightbot, so it's not going to time people out for spamming caps or emotes. So I think that will be nice. People can get hype and excited without worrying about getting uh, scolded at, or worse, timed out by Nightbot. <laughs> Took me long enough. Uh, it was actually really simple to do. I just kept forgetting to do it. Sounds good to me, Kyler. Alright, so it's 2 o'clock my time. I anticipate this speedrun to take about 8 hours with decent RNG. So, I need to get a good town layout ASAP. No time to lose. Gonna be, uh, it's gonna be fun catching four rare fish over and over and over. Four arowanas, four angelfish, four piranhas, four arapaimas. The list goes on. Four giant beetles. But what's interesting is the route's gonna be different than Golden Net and Goldenrod. It will be similar for player one, but it's actually gonna be different for player two, and or for player two, three, and four. Because paying off all the debts, well, you need five different days to pay off all your debts. And a lot of Goldenrod takes place at, like, the middle of the night. So I have to adjust the route in order to uh, 
allow the players to pay off their debts during Nook hours. All right, we got ourselves a 100% guaranteed town. We did it. We got our town. One of these corner acres is good. And we are rolling with it. Here we go. It is showtime. We got the perfect acre right there. Let's go. Yes. This was basically what I was saying with the last town layout that had this, except the corner acre wasn't good. This time the corner acre is good. So even though we got an A1 nook, it's going to cost to run about three minutes, roughly, throughout the run. But that's okay, because there's so much RNG to this category. Having an A1 nooks with an A4 post and no river in between, it's a it's going to cost about six seconds per trip between nooks and the post. There's going to be like 20, no, there's going to be like 30 of those trips. So, you know, 30 times six. Uh, 180. Yeah, it's only like three minutes time loss. That is not that big of a deal. <clears throat> Plus, the dump acre can be very good for bugs. So, I am not too upset about this, actually. It's actually great. Alright, we got a town layout. Yay, good. I needed that. And we got a lot of good villagers right below nooks. So that will be good. Make sure... Okay, we got a pawn. Good. Pawn confirmed. That is needed. There's another pond. Alright. There we go. We got Dottie if we need a Gulliver item quickly. Well, we know who to go talk to. <laughs> and who else we got? We got Rex. And Ace. Nice. <clears throat> Those are all really fast dialogue villagers. For uh, if we get them for chores, which I hope we do. So you've been doing some interesting decomp work. Working on the villager dialogue and quest system. Ooh, that is interesting. What kind of discoveries have you made? <clears throat> for a uh, better NES um, ROM file system. Nice. Cool. That's awesome, Kylie. Well done. Also could give us an idea of the exact probabilities of different quests uh, being, like, provided to you in under different uh, circumstances. I don't know where to put these flowers. It's kind of an awkward spot. We'll just put a bunch, and if I trample over some... Fine. <laughs> Alright, those are for bugs later. <laughs> and the flowers are also out of the way. Which is... Which is actually really nice. Alright! Time... Nice. Time to have a quick delivery. Time to settle in, grab some popcorn. Grab some food. We're gonna have a long stream today. It's gonna be action-packed. Bugs, fish... Turnips? It's gonna be a lot. It is going to be a lot of Animal Crossing today. <clears throat> it's gonna be fun. The villager dialogue and quest system is interesting because making a mod for that would be really fun. Custom quests. Potentially. <clears throat> nice! Oh my goodness! We're getting insanely good chore times. All that flower planting is now providing the perfect RNG. You love to see it. And good chore times are going to be important for all four players because we're going to need to make four different players. Having good chores 
for all of them is very important. <clears throat> nice, handing the letter to Pelly at nine minutes. Pretty fast. Good start, good start. This also, this this category is also fun because it it's going to showcase both the um, autumn metal duplication setup or spring metal duplication, as well as turnips. I'm not going to predict turnip prices, uh, so we're just gonna we're just gonna roll with it and see if we get a good spike quickly. We're gonna leave. We're gonna throw caution to the wind a little bit here. That's all right. It'll be exciting. Uh, no, actually, I don't want to do that, because I want to have a full inventory for autumn metals. I would have accepted that if it, if it wasn't for the fact we need to duplicate stuff. Oh, I got Tom. Alright. I think Tom was D5. Let's see what... I want to see what, um what we got here at the dump. Oh, we got the perfect dump acre. Let's go. And we got the perfect... I don't even need an axe. Oh my goodness. I already... I got the perfect acres. That's crazy. All right. I'll take it. Don't need an axe at all. I still am probably going to get an axe for bees later. Four different bees, it doesn't hurt to get a few axes. But I won't need to do any tree management. Dang, what a great town. This is a good town for just golden net. Should I just do a golden net run? <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. But yeah, this is actually an ideal golden net town. Let me double check. Is there a tree up here? No, there's not. It is. It is the good dump. Oh, there's a, there's a good golden spot as well. Are you kidding me? <laughs> if I had gotten Rex, and I had found that golden spot, it's gonna be a golden shovel world record. But that's a guaranteed, uh, guaranteed golden shovel spot. Uh, I don't have the. Gold, I don't have the shovel code memorized like I used to, though. Nah, it wouldn't have been world record. We would need to be returning to Nook after uh, writing the message on the message board about now. So we're about 30 seconds behind for a golden shovel world record. Still kind of crazy that it was that close. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get like 1340 chores. Not bad for an A1 nooks, not bad. Yeah, this is great. This is amazing. The lake's in a perfect spot. The river acre is a perfect river acre. Perfect spot. There's a lot of potential here for a really fast time. I might actually be able to do this before I have to go to bed. That's my that's the real time limit here. It's finishing this before bedtime. Alright, let's get the notes pulled up. Make sure I do this right. Nice and gold. <laughs> Alright, here we go. First things first, let's sell all of our stuff. Next, 
We are going to turn off music. This will be temporary. Don't worry. Did not practice codes. Good enough for not practicing at all. Alright, next up. Here we are. No, I don't want a tulip. If I get double tulip, it's actually not that bad. Okay. Alright. What have I been up to since my completed museum speedrun stream? I have been playing various video games, hanging out with my girlfriend, chilling, having a good time. Yeah, just chilling. Alright. Pay off the first debt. Now, I thought today was going to be the... Whoops. Today was supposed to be the 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 fall sports fair, but you know what? The wishing well is so far away. It it doesn't really matter. We will simply type in a code for the spring medal. Because we'll set it up tomorrow. And we're going to tomorrow right now. <clears throat> the music will be off while I complete chores for all four players. Alright, there we go. All these splits from here on out will be brand new. So, first things first is we're going to get money. We're going to set up money. Oh, I went to 2028. That is the reason why. So, that's fine. We're, I, I guess we're going to the, the sports fair now. <laughs> you know what? Honestly, it doesn't really matter which day I went to the sports fair. Uh, whether it's today or, or tomorrow. Actually, not a big deal at all. Actually, zero time loss. Nice. Though, at this point, it's kind of silly to... Go get the, uh, the the autumn medal normally, since Tortimer's so far away. But it's fine. Zero time loss. After all. <clears throat> all right. Next up. Drop these. 
And let's get this set up. It's not where I wanted it to go. There we go. Oh, whoops. That should be good. Oh, wait, I messed that up. Uh, it's fine. Actually, I can work with this. It's not a big deal. Wait. I completely messed up my... <laughs> my, uh, setup. But I can adjust. It's fine. It's not that big of a deal. There. Adjusted. All good. Are you... It's back to the normal setup now. We're good. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Close enough. Actually, yeah, it's back. Max tan speedrun. <laughs> we don't talk about that speedrun. It's too weird. It was a legit speedrun, that is true. It did it did technically qualify as legitimate. Thought I had a. Oh. Oh, right, right, right. Um. No. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is so bad. There. Let's just do that. There. Jeez. Not put this on top of the other auto metal. There we go. There we go. We got it. We got there. We got there. That was very sloppy, but it's okay. Where's that other tape deck? There it is. Sloppy. Oh well. It is 
a minor time loss in the grand scheme of things with such a RNG heavy category. No, not the regal table. Yes, yeah, any literally anything else. <laughs> That's a good house. It's a good house right there. It's a beautiful house, no need to judge. What's up, George? Alright, so now we are paying off the next debt. <laughs> Yay, debt two! Nice golden spot. I actually think that tree would fully grow. How fun is that? Definitely want a basement. This is going to speed up the auto-metal duplication uh, setup quite a bit. Oh, a flame... Hold on. Hold on, everyone. I'm not done with today. What do we have over here? <laughs> Very important. <laughs> and now we are speedrunning. Now we're in it. <laughs> Uh, the speedrun has now increased speed by 5% with the flame shirt. <clears throat> Alright, so next up, September 20th. September 20th. We will make our first 1 million bells. Actually, September 21st would have been fine. We're just going to hope for no rain on September 23rd, because I kind of messed that up. Alright, first things first. <clears throat> we'll sell five batches of these. This is, yeah, I mean, it's a little unfortunate. We got A1 nooks. 
but that's alright. Nice, we got the fishing rod. Alright, so we are going to have to type in a code for the net. But that's alright. There was a chance we wouldn't have to do this. Got a 50-50. We didn't get the 50-50. It's alright. There we are. Am I aware of Shamana? Of course. Shamana is a regular here. And Shamana holds the world record for chores and credits. The only... The only player besides me and Cold Eggman who holds a, a record currently. Nice painting. <laughs> Alright, we can start catching... Well, we'll start catching bugs and fish after I sell uh, the rest of these metals. Here we go, third debt paid off. Oh, and we're going to drop off all the money over here. All the extra money. There go. Alright, now we do this four more times. But that will be the last of this. Then after this, we'll spend the rest of this money on turnips. Basically, the beginning of a 100% speedrun. I'm also really curious how the route's going to look with uh, selling turnips. So, this also sort of. Oh, wait, let me drop the money. This also doubles as like a test for would this route. Uh, adjusting this route, would it be viable for 100% speedrun? Hey, what's up, Praxo? Thank you for the good luck. Appreciate it. If I get really unlucky with turnips, then I lose a lot of time. <clears throat> but if we don't get a spike on the first week, then we will reset. Not the run. We'll reset, go back a week, and then... Or, I'm sorry, yeah, we'll, we'll save... We'll go back two weeks, turnips will spoil, but then we reset and they'll unspoil. Oops. And then we're good. But the first week I have all the other players, they'll start their their uh, adventure. So they'll start paying off their debts on the, you know, one day at a time. So the first week, it really doesn't matter. 
Because if we get... doesn't matter which day we get a spike. If we get a spike during the first week, we don't lose any time. So it's a 50-50 chance to not lose any time. Alright, we can start dropping money off over here now. Three more of these, I think. Or is it two? Wait, no, maybe it's only two more of these. I already lost count. Alright, I currently have... How much do I have on the ground? 11, 18... So I have 480,000 bells on the ground. Got another 80k here. Alright, so I have I now have basically just under seven hundred thousand. We'll do two more. That'll be safe. Two more will be safe. It will be very safe. Probably optimal to do two more. I could I could theoretically get away with only doing this one more time, but it only takes like a minute and a half, so it's fine. Because we're going to bring 800,000 bells with us to Joan. Uh, for player two. I'm grabbing a bunch of autumn medals. I've set up a duplication setup. So that way I can duplicate them. They each sell for 14,000. So every haul of 15 is a little over 200,000. We're going to need over 5 million bells. 5.6-ish million bells. But I'm not going to get all my money through just this. No. Alright, one more. Then we're done. Is a lot of bells, a lot of debts to pay off for four different players. 100% would just simply repeat this until you have 5.6 million bells. And that takes about an hour. But I'm going to try to speed up that process by a little bit. <clears throat> I'm not going to drop things off in the house acres and the and the uh, uh, train station acres because there's a chance it'll all go to the lost and found when you make new player characters. I'm not 100% sure exactly when and w when that happens and when it doesn't happen, but it's frequent enough that it's a problem. All right, next up, uh, get the. Get our tools. And let's start catching bugs. One. We are looking for five different bugs. Red dragonflies. 
Long locusts. We need the mantis. And the grasshopper. I hear the grasshopper. Oh, you know what? There's one more thing I need to I need to do now. I need to get the candy. No. Whatever. <laughs> At least it's fast. Alright, next up, need the mantis. There we are. Just need the red dragonfly, but we are going to go catch fish while we look for the red dragonfly. Alright, we are looking for a brook trout. Actually, we'll start with the small fish. <clears throat> looking for small fish. Pale chub, bluegill, is all we need. Piranha would be a bonus, it'd be a huge bonus. Alright. Uh, okay. Nice pale chub. Excellent find. Need a blue gill. Blue gills you can test. If they turn around, they have a 360 degree bite radius. If they turn around, it's a blue gill. Or a piranha. And then we'll be looking for tiny fish. There's a tiny fish. Alright, nice. Popeye goldfish, good. Ooh, another tiny fish. Okay, we need the guppy. That's going to be the huge find. Alright. Fine. Easy come, easy go. We'll get music back after I have 5.6 million bells. Because then we won't have to enter and exit maps so frequently. Which is where all the time time save comes from turning off music. Or a lot of it. Dang, where's this bluegill at? Thing's not rare. At least it's not the pale chub doing this. I actually have to catch fish to test the pale chub. Oh, those large fish are all salmon. Oh. That's why I keep finding large fish. Well, might as well catch the salmon. Uh, 
It's not that big of a deal. I think. Might as well catch the salmon. It's the second half of September. Well, it's not guaranteed to be a salmon. It's a 50-50, I think. Yeah, there we go. Bluegills are still just as common, though, so no excuse for whatever's going on here. There we go. What? <laughs> How? <laughs> How'd that happen? Whatever. Monty, I can't see. My cat's blocking my TV screen. I can't see your... Please. <laughs> You're very adorable. And I will give you lots of love and attention. But not if you're blocking my TV screen. There. Caught it. Finally, jeez. Alright, let's get that brook trout. I, I'm kind of tempted to do the brook trout later. Oh, a tiny fish first, though. First and foremost. Come on, guppy. Now oh, another Popeye goldfish. But this is the best time for a brook trout. There's our red dragonflies. Good. Oh, a pond skater. A bonus pond skater. Come over here. Yo, let's go. Love the bonus pond skater. More red dragonflies. The brook trout is a medium-sized fish. Is that one? No. They're not super rare. This isn't the best lake, admittedly. But it will do. Okay, another tiny fish. If we get the guppy... Um, we're we're gonna be we're gonna be set for this player. Let's go, Guppy! Huge find! All right, nice. I'm oh, there's our nah. It's another salmon. I'm tempted to do the brook trout later. Get it in July. Yeah, well, let's do. I I think I'm gonna do that now that I got the guppy out of the way. I'll go for, like, I don't know. The problem is it's a 50-50 in July when it's an 86% chance right now. But since I, I don't have any more need to catch tiny fish, let's just come back later. Alright, uh, right. Drop this. Let me drop this over here. Because the other players are going to need this now. There we are. That's a split. September 9 a.m. for player one. Next up will be player two. Hmm. 
We're going to Sunday. Yes, Sunday. Hopefully it's not raining. If it is, it's not... Dang it. If it is, it's not that big of a deal. Well, we just lost... We just lost the, uh... We got our music back. <laughs> Dang it! Talking. I need to focus. Oh well. We lost like 30 seconds. It's fine. Alright, player two. You know what? Music's nice. We'll get our music back. It's fine. We saved most of the time already. A no time travel speedrun? You wait around for a year to do everything? So, not exactly a speedrun. <laughs> Alright, player two. We're hoping it's not going to be raining. If it is, it's not that big of a deal. Um, but what we're... What we're looking for here is we're going to buy 800,000 bells worth of turnips. Oh wait, it shouldn't be raining if I make a new player. Even if it's player two. Yeah. It's guaranteed to not rain. Cool. Oh look, we got uh, we got Nook and Go Tom Nook. <laughs> it worked. He's upgraded. Oh, right. Uh, fish and bugs are reset. There we go. Player two has no bugs or fish. Hey, what's up, KRS? Alright, so we'll be... Cycling between four different players catching bugs and fish. The beginning is going to be kind of confusing to follow, because there will be player one, player two, player three, and player four that we're all going to be cycling through, catching bugs and fish for each of them. So player one currently has all of the September bugs and fish. And I'm going to have to remember which ones have which bonus bugs and fish. So player one has a bonus pond skater, but no brook trout. Got everything else. I'm also really tempted to go to an earlier time in September in order to get rid of the salmon. Because I can get those later. They're kind of in the way. Like, they reduce the odds of all the other fish slightly. I mean, actually, wait. You know what? Is that a strat? Is that a salmon strat? Because I can scare away more fish. The tiny fish should be the same odds. Oh, you know what? Never mind. The salmon strat actually is good. Wait a second. Wait a second. Did I accidentally discover a slight improvement to the uh, goldenrod route late September for salmon? Oh, and we'll, uh, we'll pick weeds as we find them. We don't want to reduce the town rating. Oh yeah, we should have gotten a new player, or a new villager. I don't know where they could have moved in, though. Actually, it's a 50-50. No, it's more than a 50-50. It's like a 75% chance we got a new... No, more than 75. It's like an 80... 
3% chance we got a new villager somewhere. So, I will check the police station map to uh, see if see if anyone moved in somewhere. And if so, where? Oh, my goodness, they're right below Nooks. We just improved... <laughs> The odds of a good chores have improved. I didn't think it was possible, but there we have it. Nice. That's incredible, actually. Wow. That's amazing. <laughs> I'm tempted to not even go forward days to uh, check the turnip prices since we have an improved uh, chores setup for all the four player characters. The only problem with getting Nook and Go is now I have to wait for the door to slide open. That's fine. It's okay. Oh, we're gonna have a ton of flowers, I just realized. cart in front of it. <laughs> That'd be amazing if that was something you could do. Leave the door open. You could pay Nook. I didn't greet everyone. I didn't go talk to Tortimer. <laughs> I was so focused on where the police station was, I forgot to go talk to Tortimer. Ah. Oh well. Time loss. I think I've decided I'm gonna just go ahead and do, like, just stay on this one day and complete the player. Ah, yeah, complete chores for all the players on this day. Because we're gonna have to greet more and more villagers. I mean, ah, I don't know. It's not that big of a deal. But these. The potential for fast chore times is so good right now if I don't mess up, you know, talking to Tortimer. Ah, it's all RNG manip. No, the only reason why I wanted Nook and Go is for the hours. There will be times when it would be optimal to go to like 10 p.m. or 8 a.m. to sell things, like to pay off my debt. But Nook's isn't open that early or that late normally. If I get Nook and Go, I have better hours. I've decided I'm going to turn music back off after this and complete the other two villager chores on the same day. Just get them all over with at once. I have to catch bugs and fish, of course. Nice! We got Dottie for the... This is just like, uh, just like the first chores. If I delivered a Tom for the carpet, it would be identical 
to the first chores. Kind of crazy. The only downside to the salmon strat in September is getting that brook trout. What? What is happening? That took forever to load. Oh, it was a new hour. Time lost because I entered the post office on a new hour. <laughs> Yo, I just realized. What am I doing? I should be having the I should have the net and rod with me. I can start catching bugs and fish. <laughs> without finishing chores. not that big of a deal. But, it's a strat. Yo! Yo, the fastest three villagers. That completely made up for the Ordemer mishap. This is so fast. Yeah, it was that flame shirt, you're right. That was the only reason why we're saving so much time. Let's go, flame shirt. <laughs> you know what? I made a decision. If I don't find Joan quickly... I will just go to player three. If I find Joan quickly, then we'll start the turnip buying process. I think that's a good idea. Because if Joan's like way out in the middle of nowhere and I can't find her, and I have to move all these bell bags from up here to like F1, for example, that's kind of a pain. So I can start fishing and catching bugs for player two. While I... Uh, and if I happen to find Joan close to Nooks, then uh, we'll... We'll start buying turnips. Otherwise, we'll save and quit after we catch all the bugs and fish for player two, and then we'll start player three chores. I think that's it. Yeah, it's an excellent plan. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Let's pick up all these things. For a mantis. Oh, wait, there's a ball in the way here. It'll scare away a mantis immediately. Alright. We're checking for a mantis. Player two chores done. Amantis, nice. 
Excellent. And I saw red dragonflies up here. Alright, let's pick up one of these bell bags. Pay off our first debt. go. Debt two paid off. Let's let's uh, catch some bugs and fish. First things first, though, I'm going to actually grab some of these pears. Um, grab some money and pears so that way I can fill up my inventory. Ooh, a bonus walker cicada for player two. <laughs> Alright. I'll have to remember that. Player two has a bonus walker cicada. And let the fishing begin. Pale chub. Bluegill. Alright. Player one also needs a crucian carp, by the way. Grab this locust here. Look for a migratory locust? Nope. Tiny fish? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna go ahead and prevent this from being trash. Yo! We got the guppy for player two. Already. Let's go. Huge find. Alright, Barble Steed for player two. It's fine. Mem remembering all the discrepancies is going to be a challenge. I'll do my best. All the differences, I should say. Alright, Salmon... We're looking for Popeye Goldfish, Pale Chub, and Bluegill. Salmon strats are actually real. It's gonna make the Pale Chub a little more annoying, usually, but if I find it quickly... It does make the tiny fish easier, though. Or does it? Actually, I'm not sure if this makes any difference. I don't know. I'm not sure if it makes any difference at all. Oh, I still need the grasshopper for this player. I can't forget the grasshopper. Nah, salmon strats aren't an improvement. Now that I think about it. They are working out, though. Pale chub. Can, uh, test for the bitterling flash piranha also this makes it so piranhas i think piranhas are gone now so there's no chance for a bonus piranha so yeah never mind and i don't know if bluegills are now like slightly more uncommon they feel like it 
but it could just be RNG. Oh, yeah, no, they're fine. I could come back for a Popeye Goldfish when I think the odds are a little better. Oh, a, a Pond Skater. Let's see if I can get this. Yo! Pond Skater for Player 2 as well. Sweet. We'll do one more Tiny Fish for a Popeye Goldfish check. Oh, hello. Alright, goldfish is good. We'll keep looking for a tiny. I think uh, I think I think it's worth it. We'll do one more tiny. Then I'll try for a pop at goldfish for player two later. When they're one in fifties. We can do we can do that uh, week two of if turnips fail on week one, we can do this on week two. One more tiny fish for player two, and then we'll get a Popeye goldfish later. Because I think early September, tiny fish are more common, slightly. This only was really good for trying to get a guppy. Oh, we got a brook trout for player 2, 86% chance. Or 83, something like that. Nice. <clears throat> All right, get that out of the way. Come on, one more tiny. That brook trout was a nice find. Uh, maybe I should just, uh, maybe I should just stop now that I got the brook trout, get this, get this Popeye goldfish later. We'll do three more fish for a tiny. One, two, three. Alright, we'll get it later. Still need the grasshopper and migratory locust, though. Can't forget those. Grasshopper. Alright, migratory locust. We can move along. Dang it. I had a feeling it was in this acre. Oh well. That was going to be an unlikely catch. We can check for a tiny fish down here. There's Joan! 
Okay, all right. Well, we're buying turnips, and there's our migratory looks. If it doesn't jump in the water, it's gonna be a. I have to be. I have to sneak up on this. Oh, that was close. It's facing this way now, though. Come on. I knew it. Dang it. Are you? That's fine. It's fine. Maybe. Now nah, I jumped in the water. Dang it! I accidentally tilted the joystick. It's all right. You know what? Let's go ahead and start buying turnips. We found Joan quickly. She's right there. Uh, I would love this migratory locust to just be... Okay, we'll get that. Get this migratory locust just be done. And then we can... Start buying turnips. It'll be fun. Okay. More butterflies. <laughs> there, there we go. Alright, we're good now. Come back. Get off the train tracks. <laughs> Should jump back. Eventually. Maybe it's... Maybe it won't. You gotta be kidding me. Come on. There. Come back. Why? Okay, there we go. Come on. Are you kidding me, dude? D no! <laughs> get back here! Stupid locust! Get over here! Oh my goodness! <laughs> this is so dumb! Is this one back yet? Oh my goodness gracious. You've got to be kidding me! Uh, <laughs> what a time- what a, what a way to lose time. What a way to lose time. This is ridiculous. Yeah, they can jump back. They just were choosing not to. Okay, alright. Come on. Don't do it. Thank you. <laughs> Alright. My goodness gracious. Alright, let's, uh... Let's start buying turnips. Thrown for content. Yeah, that is that is how it felt. All right, upgrade our house. Sell all of this. And let's start moving money. Move money over by Joan. Let's push her over to this side 
to this side where we can drop off turnips faster. Alright. So we need... Uh, we're going to do 80,000, or 800,000, so... I didn't need to manage that much. Alright, All right, so we got 17 there. 57, wait. Uh, 50, yeah, so we need 10 of these. 3, 4... do 11 for good measure. Actually, no, we don't need to do that. Well, it could matter. It it could matter if Joan is buying turnips for a lot. So I'll bring over a few extra just in case she has an expensive turnip price. Oh, well, I need some of these. <laughs> Alright, Joan. It's time to buy turnips. Hello. Alright, nice. Perfectly average. That'll be a really easy to uh, count money. I just need five. Perfect. So let's see, 150 times 5, 750,000, and then we'll do a few more. So we'll do five of these. Charlie! Good to see you, Charlie. Thanks for the sub. How are you? Alright, I think that's seven. I'm doing great. Can't complain with some good old Animal Crossing. Having a great time. I have lost count, but that's all right. She'll tell me I've run out of bells. Sounds good, Charlie. Enjoy the commute home, or try to. Thanks for the good luck. Bags full. All right. So now, oh. Drop these off as close to Nook as we can. Don't want to enter the other acre, though. Alright. Does this guy, does this remind you guys of anything? Of, uh, my 100% casual playthrough? 
of Animal Crossing. The one that was, you know, 330 hours. Good times. Good times. Alright, so each of these purchases takes about 10 seconds. So each of these takes about two and a half minutes. Do it five times. So we're looking at like 12 minutes of this. Which is... And it takes about like 45 minutes to an hour by selling uh, by selling uh, 5.6 million bells worth of the autumn metals. So, this should save about 20 minutes, I think. 15 to 20 minutes. If I get average... If I get a... Well, it's a 50-50 to save. It's a 50-50 to save 15 to 20 minutes. It's a 75% chance to save, like, 10 minutes. And it's an 80... 6% chance to save 5 minutes, and a 92% chance to break even, and a 96% chance to lose time. <laughs> well, anything beyond 92%. So it's a 9 in 10 chance we either break even or save time, if I had to estimate. So I will take those odds 50-50 to save a bunch. We'll see. Yeah, that was a trip, wasn't it? Buying and selling turnips for a billion bells took about 180 hours with optimal gameplay. I, I actually 150 if I didn't, if I if I knew uh, the spike was guaranteed. This time though, we're not predicting turnip prices, so we might not get a spike this week. We shall see. Don't enter the other acre. Okay. Three more. Good time for a snack. Oh, 
I was making notes of which bugs and fish I currently have and need for which players that deviate from the uh, the standard route. Do I still play the Switch? Every now and then, yes. I don't play New Horizons very often. But I do play New Horizons every New Year. So on the New Year, we celebrate with the countdown. And then, um, then my character goes to sleep for another year. And then wakes up for the next New Year. That has been the case for the last two years now. Ever since I completed the museum and got, you know, completed everything besides the furniture catalog. All the Nook Mile achievements, completed museum, no time traveling, of course. After that, I, and I was happy with my town layout. After that, I was like, well, I guess I did it. It was fun for a while. Cat. Alright, one more. Hi, yes, hello, you just love attention, don't you? You love attention. <laughs> I can't see! <laughs> good Mozzie. Yes, he's a good cat. Where's Jade at? I don't know where Jade is. Normally she's the one being bothersome. I enjoyed my 1,000 hours of New Horizons. Had a great time. And I'll play it every now and then, potentially. But I I did it. I played as much of it as I as I wanted to, and I've had a and I had a great time with it. Two and a half years of daily play.
Well, not quite two and a half, but close. I think the last thing ended up being the 100 KK Slider song concerts. I don't remember. I can't remember if I completed the museum first or got all the KK Slider songs. Or all the KK Slider concerts, 100. I got some of the DLC. I got all the cooking stuff, if that's what you mean. There was also some other random DLC that um, Charlie generously gave me. Some of, I forget what it was. But it has a cool bridge. I remember that really cool bridge. Like a red bridge. You couldn't walk over it, but it was a decorative bridge. I remember that one. Alright. Um, let's see here. We'll do one more... Yeah, we'll do we'll do three more and then we'll call it good. Alright, now to manage turnips and money at the same time. So we can move these closer since we're going to have to do that anyways. Oh yeah, I was going to type in a code to turn off the music, but... Mati, <laughs> lie down, I can't see. Okay. There we go. Alright, now we go forward one day at a time. No. Ugh. It's fine, I would have reset immediately anyways. I keep forgetting them. My muscle memory is just like, yep, alright. Now you just press A. Now we gotta make a new player. Alright, player three. Player three. We got player three and player four chores to do. And each day we're going to check to see if we got a turn up spike.
Yo, we got the flame shirt. Let's go. <laughs> oh, my favorite character. Brown eyes and flame shirt. Once again, we have a 50-50 chance for a new villager to have moved in. Well, last time it was like an 86% chance. 50% this time. I don't know why I was excited to see what Acre Nook was in. I was like, oh, what's it going to be? Obviously. Oh, and I can start moving turnips over. I'll remember to talk to Tortimer this time, but I bet by doing that, I will get villagers, I have to deliver to faraway villagers. We shall see. Anyone new? No! Perfect! Excellent! Ah, I could have planted some flowers there.
Hello, whoever said hi to me. I can't see chat right now, because my cat is blocking chat. Ah! Hayden, hello. Welcome. How are you doing? Alright, we got Rex and B2. Chores for the four-player characters are going very well so far. I'm doing great. Having a great time playing some Animal Crossing. Relaxing. First attempt at this really fun category that I've been enjoying so far. Who knows, maybe one day this will become a real category. And I'll have a run ready to go. <laughs> hmm. You never know. Thanks for the good luck. I knew it. I knew it. I got the worst villager for the axe. We just lost a minute. If I'd forgotten to talk to Tortimer, could have saved time. <laughs> Oh well, can't win them all. We'll pick up turnips. Um, on our way there at least. I guess. We can salvage some of that time loss. doing. Alright. Alright. Well, if we get a fast carpet, there's a... There's a 60% chance we get a good, fast carpet delivery. Hopefully we can at least get that. That would be nice. <clears throat> nice. Ah, bummer. I guess we're moving all the turnips. At least it wasn't Tom. Savannah's carpet dialogue is fairly quick. Thank you. 
Wait, no. So I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna do something really fun. After player four, I'm gonna complete all the I'm gonna catch all the bugs and fish for player one, and the golden tools I get, I will use for player two and three and four. So I'll actually use the golden tools in this category. What's interesting is I don't know. Like, I can't predict which fish are going to be which using the goldenrod, because the goldenrod makes fish easier to catch, which can be helpful sometimes and unhelpful other times. So I'm actually going to switch between goldenrod and uh, regular rod from uh, uh, for, depending on what I'm going for. It'll be kind of neat. There's no reason not to use a golden net, though. So I will definitely be using that. Ah. Mantis check. Quick, quick check for a mantis. Oh, a migratory locust. Let's get that out of the way. Let's try to. It's it's facing the train station acre, though. Or the train station. Or the, the train tracks. Okay, we're good now. Nice. First bug by this player was the last bug from the last player. Mantis? Grasshopper. It's cool catching bugs before I finish chores. Nice. Red dragonflies. Alright, that's good enough. Yeah, isn't doing chores four times a blast? <laughs> But at least there's interesting things you can do for players 2, 3, and 4. Transfer turnips, catch bugs, maybe fish. Yo, what's up, Nick? Yes, all player statues. And don't forget the fish weather vane and bug plaques. This is the fifth, this will be the fifth time you've seen Shores today. Oh my goodness. Ah, it's Mantis. Perfect. That is very funny. 
We're almost done with bugs with player three. All right, let's go pay off the first debt. And let's see what the turnip price is. Come on, day one spike. Wouldn't that be incredible? Yeah, I mean, people I mean, people need to know why. Why am I doing this? <laughs> That's the most popular command. I, I think, like, one person has typed exclamation mark rules. <laughs> why am I doing this? Oh, well, if you type exclamation mark why, it'll tell you. It explains it all. <laughs> All right, Long Locust is the last bug that I need. No, not exclamation mark. <laughs> Dang it, Kyler. <laughs> I should have made that. I should have made that uh, a thing. That would have been so funny. Hello, Hobo Fire. Hello, Ivy. No, not exclamation mark. How? Or who? Or where? <laughs> or when? All right, here we go. Do we get a turnip spike today? 81. Okay, there's still a chance for a turnip spike. It's not a falling trend, at least. All right, that's fine. All right, let's go look for a long locust and then fishing. Where's that long locust at? This thing's super common. Now all the migratory locusts are around. Okay. More butterflies. Fine. Mm, don't need more butterflies. Oh my goodness. It's always a locust. Last time it was a migratory locust. This time it's the long locust. Ah, oh, there we are. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Alright, time to fish. Player 3 fishing commences. Everything is five times harder to catch. Oh my goodness. So the, the fish that have eight frames to catch, now you have one or two? Sounds, sounds super enjoyable. Sounds like you only catch fish on the fifth bite. <laughs> for, uh, for the rare fish. All right, first tiny fish. Come on, guppy. Oh my goodness. All right, that works too. Yeah, that's act that's just a uh, fishing, but on an HD TV with lag. Ooh, another tiny. Ooh. Last time I got two tiny fish back to back, it was player one, and they got two Popeye goldfish in a row. Can we get a guppy? Oh my goodness. Happened again. That's a great suggestion, Kyler. I will add it to the list. Thank you for your suggestion. Mm. 
Bugs are fish and fish are bugs. How would that even work? Would you just replace the arowana with a giant beetle and vice versa? Would they have the same properties? Wow, another tiny fish? Last time this happened, it was three Popeye goldfish in a row in player one. Time is a goldfish. But like, would the bugs have shadows? Alright, not a bluegill. Um I don't know what this is. We'll see. Ah. I had a, I had a hunch. All right, we got a bonus freshwater goby for player three. Nice. Hail chub. We'll see if I get the guppy for this player. I may go for Guppy in July for player three. We'll see. So would so would the fish just be like like would they have an animation on the trees? Would they be flopping? Or would they just be uh, completely still, stapled to trees? They'd fall off and flop away. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Every time a fish spawns, it immediately flops off the tree. Or immediately drops from the tree and flops away. Nice, bluegill. Alright. I'm really tempted to, uh, to go for Guppy in July for player three. I think the odds are still better right now, though. But we still, you know, you still have to catch fish. Or we still have to go to July Day for bugs and the giant snakehead. You're running low on funny mod ideas. No. I'm sure you can come up with more. Um, there's a 50% chance... You catch trash instead of fish, even if your inventory's full. There you go, there's another one. Another great idea. Alright, last tiny fish for player three in September. Ah, goldfish. We'll get it in July. We'll do a quick brook trout check. Yeah, multiple fish in one one acre. Actually, I should do a brook trout check because I also might find a pond skater. I've gotten pond skaters for players one and two in the lake so far. Which is kind of neat. Oh yeah, you could do fish shadows are all whale size. That's a good one. Alright, yeah, nah. Let's just get brook trout in... Well, Brook Trout in July as well? Question mark? For player three? Alright, uh, yeah, that's a salmon. Even And it's too far away for the net to even scare it. Oh, there we are. Salmon... Alright. Oh, wait, nope. Still salmon. St 
still still a possibility. Aha! It was worth it. And we'll know if there's a brook trout, it is. Let's go! Alright. No pawn skater for player three, but that is okay. Quick check for a tiny fish. One more guppy attempt. Three more fish shadows, and then we're moving on. Alright, we're moving along. Player four. No, don't put the candy there. One more chores. I remembered this time. Player 4 will be a girl character, for fun. I don't uh, accidentally choose a boy character. Oh, that's a great idea for a mod. The only way to catch bugs and fish is if you find them in balloons as presents. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a great one. Anything with balloons. Actually, you know what? Better yet, there's no way to get anything in the entire game except through balloons. We're player four now. still catch all the bugs and fish for player four, but the next split will be turnips, which is when we sell all the turnips for 5.6 million bells. Did player three go back to Nook? No, player three didn't go back to Nook. That's all right. It's probably not going to matter. Final chores! Aren't chores so fun? Half of this speedrun, almost half of it has been chores so far. Which is kind of crazy to think about.
Hey, thanks, Giraffe. I appreciate that. Glad you're enjoying the Animal Crossing. And the fun will continue. Oh, there's Jade. Good Jade. Fifty fifty for another new villager. We just hope they're not an acre B five. Because I'm not gonna be going that way. Jade, I can't see. Hey VX, thank you for the good luck. Good to see ya. No new villagers, nice. Perfect. Oops. It's gonna be nice to be done with these chores. They are a chore. None of those should be in the way. And let's hope for some good RNG with where I'm delivering things to. Ah, not the greatest start. But that's alright. Trees. Trees everywhere.
Oh, whoops. Oh, wait. We're good. I thought I had too much stuff in my inventory. Oh wait, I do. I'm... I just lost like 30 seconds for no reason. Ah, I feel silly. And next up is the, uh, write a letter in the mail. Alright, all RNG manip. Rex is very fast. Nice. All right, we're good. Tours are almost done. Those are these. They're gonna fly by now. These are fast. Fast dialogues. Fast locations. Excellent for chores. Now all we need is some good RNG with turnips. Alright, I picked that up on purpose, so that way when I pick up the tools, um, my inventory will be managed nicely. So the tools will be close to the front of the uh, menu. I could have done that with a pair. Now ah, whatever, this, this works just as fine. Works just as well. Oh, 
All right, all set. <clears throat> Yay, we're done with chores. <laughs> Four chores done with turnips to sell. And almost done with September bugs and fish. We don't need candy anymore. We can get rid of it. Or just not use it. I thought I saw a bug over here. Oh, I did. Right there. There's our mantis. Nice. And I see a red dragonfly. Excellent. <clears throat> Need a grasshopper and a migratory locust. Alright, debt one has been paid off by player four. <clears throat> and we need a grasshopper. Nope, that's a long locust. <clears throat> Migratory locust. Mantis. Mantis. <laughs> Alright, right, let's check, uh, <clears throat> well, let's do this. Oh, wait, player three, I don't remember if player three upgraded their house or not. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure they did. Maybe not. Alright, let's see. What is the turnip price today? 70. It went down again. Is that normal? Shouldn't have gone down more. I think I got a falling... I thought I avoided the falling trend. That sucks. That's a falling trend. Oh, right, because I went to a different... Well, no, I don't know. I got a falling trend, though. That's a 10%. That's unfortunate. I mean, at least we know. Though, so, there's this... There, you know, we'll implement the strat to account for this. Alright, well, we need a grasshopper. No point in looking for fish yet until we get this grasshopper. Dang, I got lucky with those grasshoppers. Uh, for players, for the other players, didn't I?
Oh, oh no, it's a long locust. Ah, there we go. Oops. All right. All good. Here we go. Time to catch some fish. And then we'll have to reset. We'll save. Go back a week. And reset for uh, better turnip prices. This, we finally got the bluegill before the pale chub. Well, you can't have incredible RNG four out of four times, can you? <laughs> well, I wouldn't go so far to say it's incredible, but you can't have above average RNG four out of four. It's not over yet, though. We just we just begun player four fishing. <laughs> Look at all these bluegill. Migratory locust jumps into the river. Alright, this is more of the pale chub RNG that I know and love. Non-existent. Alright, first tiny. Alright, top-eyed goldfish. Good.
You know what? Let's just get all the bad RNG out on the Pale Chub, and then no more bad RNG. Come on, Guppy! Yeah, alright! There we go. You know what? We're gonna get Pale Chub later. What a weird... What a weird situation to get Pale Chub later. We'll do a quick Brook Trout check. Well, we'll check for uh, Pale Chub still. Also, nice grasshopper. All right, it's not a bluegill. <laughs> Oh, that, that's a bluegill. <laughs> the seventh bluegill with no pale chubs. At this rate, I should check if it's a bluegill first before I catch it. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to go for a brook trout, and I'm catching any small fish I find along the way. And I happen to be finding a bunch. Alright, it's not a bluegill. Classic pale chub RNG. There's our brook trout. Probably. 86% chance. Can we get 86% chance four times in a row? Or, no, nah, it should only be three. Yeah, nice. Wavelength, what's up? Good to see you. How are you? Alright, one more pale chub attempt. And then we're moving on. We'll get it later. Alright, we'll get it later. And by later, I mean we will get it very soon. Just working. Nice. Sounds chill. Glad to hear it. Alright, so here's the strat. Since we got a falling trend, we are guaranteed to lose money. But we can restore the turnips. And I'll show you how. First, we go back in time. Let's go to this Monday here. That'll work. And now, all the turnips will spoil. Wait, how does this work? I think we're good. I think that's all you do. If not, then... No, I think this is what you do. I think you just reset. We're gonna find out. I, I should have practice this or confirm this on the bright side if we mess it up we can just reset again I think you just reset if not then you go back to the Monday you got the turnips something like that
Hmm. Alright, let's see if it worked. Yeah, it worked. We're good. Alright, let's go see what the turnip price is. And I can pay off my fourth debt. Or not my fourth, my second debt. A low nook. All right, what are turnip prices today? 92. Okay. That means if we do get a spike this week, it's going to be kind of low. It's all right. What? Oh my goodness. Stop, stop. <laughs> Throw it out. I forgot, because of the HRA dialogue, I have to enter twice. Silly me. Classic all debts mistake. I've done this before. But, on the bright side, it's not that big of a deal this time. go ahead and catch the pale chub now. The odds are better. Player two, no more loan, or no more second debt, I should say. Catch the pale chub, and then move back to player three. The pale chub, or the the com the uh, the small fish are slightly more common now, so we can catch more fish. Doesn't mean the pale chub going to be any more common if it's a small fish, but we can at least catch them at a faster rate. Oh, and I can still catch tiny fish. That is true. Need a goldfish. Kind of weird to go for a goldfish. <laughs> Second guppy. Good. Good amusing joke. Yeah. Oh, right. Sweetfish are a possibility now. They're rare, though. They're only like 5%. Pale chubs are twice as common as sweetfish at the moment. Oh my goodness. We could also now catch piranhas. That is a possibility. That guppy was a, uh, was a 1 in 100, by the way. There we go, finally. Goodness gracious. 
Moving along. Alright. Player four needs a goldfish. So next up will be player three, who needs a guppy. We're going forward one day at a time for turnip price checks. First things first, let's pay off the second debt for this player. Yeah, I'm not predicting turnip prices this time. Dang it, I said, what's that? Now we gotta listen. It went up, so there's a chance for a spike. Alrighty. Wait, I hear a walker cicada. I didn't pick up the net, though. Fine. Second debt paid. Now we go to Wednesday. Come on, turnip rice spike, please. Ah, a new villager moved in, in a really good spot as well. That is funny. Alright, we'll now go to player four. I'm gonna go to nighttime now so I can start catching crickets. 
if it's not raining. And if it is raining, seal it can. There we are. Alright, we got rain. We'll catch the snail and the coelacanth. And check turnip prices. Nice painting. Four, we got the spike! Yes! It all's working out. It's all coming together. Alright, so... It's money time! First, let's go pay off their debt. It is all coming together. You love to see it. Let's go. Nice! Oh, so this is exciting! It's working! It's working! You love to see it working! This is great! Alright! So, before I do anything else, let's make room in the inventory. Yeah, drop that. Uh, the ants. We're putting the we're putting the candy right here. Yep. All right. And now we can do six at a time. Yeah. Four, five, six. Oh, I guess I could have just sold the candy. It's fine. We didn't lose any time on the turnips except for the reset because we're. We still need to do all these random things anyways. Alright. Oh, we can do seven. We can sell seven at a time. Nice. Alright, now we gotta put all this money on the ground. <laughs> Can I do... Yeah, we can do... Well, let's see. If I don't want to take money out of my inventory, or out of my wallet, I guess we're limited to six at a time. Yeah. It's fine. Well, if I take 30,000 out, I can do seven at a time. I think that's more optimal. Yeah, for sure. Oh, you have to have, uh... You have to have less than 60,000. I was 2,000 off. Alright. Noted. Noted. I can certainly drop items here. Thank you.
I have to have under 58,000. Okay. Yo, what's up, Cold? Good to see you. Thanks for the good luck. <laughs> this is a fun run so far. Having a great time. The money is flowing now. <laughs> There's a lot of fun optimizations. That only a few people can truly fully appreciate. Anyways, good to see you. Let's see, does 57,000 work? Can I sell 7 at a time with 50... Oh yeah, I gotta make sure I actually pick up all the turnips. <laughs> I can't even miss one. In fact, I might be a little short. As is. I might have to type in some codes for a few extra turnips. 57,000. Yeah, isn't it a great command? Just ask to be typed. Oh, I have to have less than 57,200. Alright, so... That is really, really funny. And it's all good. We'll just say less than 57,000. To be sure. Actually, less than 57,500 will work. Honestly, we're probably good. I'll, we're probably good, because the rest of these bells, or the rest of these turnips, I can... Um, like, after I pick up these, the rest I can do with the other players. I can fill up my inventory with money for all the other players. Including this one. And then I can just have money ready to go. Right. Nice. We're done selling turnips and dropping money. Oh my goodness, I forgot to take out 30,000. Well... At that, uh, with all those mistakes, it would have been faster just to, just to have, uh, 60,000. Or six, six at a time. Oh well. It's fine. Should be good. All the other turnips will sell on the same day, because since it's raining, we can go catch. Um, where's the net? There it is. We can go catch fish and bugs in the rain. Might as well grab the shovel. Well, we don't need the shovel yet. Fill up the inventory. All right, let's go get a snail. I'm actually going to go ahead and plant the first flower for the snail right here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and double flower for since we're going to need more than just this one snail. Might as well improve our odds. $4,000. 
4% chance for a snail. Nothing else can spawn, in, at least in the house acre. So it will eventually spawn. Every flip is a 1 in 25. <clears throat> Should be. Oh, wait. Yeah? Yeah, we're good. There's no mosquitoes in September. Here we are. All right. Oh, we got Wendell. We we have uh, we could give him fish. <laughs> now nah, we're not gonna we're not gonna spend the time to do that. All right. Let's see how our beach acre is. There are currently no sea bass out. Not the not the greatest beach acre, but at least there's at least it's a continuous stretch of beach. This is the worst one though. As far as continuous stretches are concerned. I think this is a barred knife job based off of how it's not going for the, the bait. We'll see though. No, it wasn't. I think they have I think red snappers and barred knife job have the same vision. It's just the frame timing is different. Bard knife draws are a 1 in 3. Uh, Coelacanth are a 1 in 9. Sea bass are a 0. I'm gonna go check the other side, see if it's any better. This side sucks. Uh, this side's worse. Well, the beach sucks. Oh well. Need a coelacanth. One in nine. We'll know when we find it. There it is. Easier than a bar knife jaw. All done with player four for September. Oh, that's a split. Turnips. Next, player three. Hmm. Hmm. 
Make sure I didn't forget any turnips anywhere. Okay. Good. Oops. Uh, there we go. That'll work. Nice, okay, I did pay off my debt. Wait, did I load up player one or player three? I loaded up player three. No, I didn't mean to exit. <laughs> I didn't realize I paid off... Wait. I loaded up player three, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, because I didn't choose a basement for player three. That's funny. That's fine. It actually doesn't matter. It actually kind of works out. Because now I can pick up more turnips quickly. Oh, a mosquito in September? It's actually very unlikely. I'm actually only going to sell six. Oh, wait, that's how many I picked up. Dang it. I don't completely fill up my inventory with money. There will be plenty of opportunity for mosquitoes later. Alright. So let's catch the fish first and we'll get the snail on the way back. I guess. Here, we'll catch a crawfish. So we get less trash potential. There we go. Player three got a crawfish. <laughs> Alright. Same as before. Sea bass. Red Snapper, Coelacanth. Red Snapper, Bard Knife, Draw Coelacanth. And then Snail. No Sea Bass, sorry. No Sea Bass. Nice.
Yeah. It's ocean. Okay, that'll work. Looking for a coelacanth again. There are no fish. Oh, there it is. Nice. All right. This is where I wish I had the goldenrod. Whoa, that was lucky. Wow. All right, we're good. Still there. Got it. Not a problem. <laughs> Easy every time. Moving along. Mosquito! Nice. We got one anyways. for a snail. Oh, look at that. We found a snail over here. Nice. Alright, player two. This August-September split will end once we have all the crickets and the rainfish. Alright, so player two is next. All right, this is working out very nicely, all according to plan.
All right, debt two by player two. Player two is one debt behind everyone else. And player one is one debt ahead of everyone else. Oh wait, what am I, what am I doing? Need the, the fishing, the fishing rod and the net. Yeah, give me those. Alrighty, here we go. Time for sea fish for player two. Ocean fish. That is my first miss of the day, and that's all right. It was it was very inconsequential. Get that out of the way. Besides, who knows? Maybe it's going to be a piece of trash. Nice. That worked out very well. Never punished. <laughs> All right, coelacanth time. We got some pretty good luck with the last two coelacanths. This one, not so great at the moment. Oh, there it is. All right. This one's actually in a great spot. Perfect. Oh, never mind. Nice. Got it. Whoops. So I guess... No. Pitfall. <laughs> we got our obligatory pitfall. We're looking for a snail. And I apparently mosquitoes can also spawn, so snail is not guaranteed on these flowers, like I thought. But on the bright side, mosquitoes do chase after you if they spawn. And you'll hear them.
Come on, snail. Where are you at? There we go. Alright, player one. Alright, that, that worked out. There were just enough bugs to hold seven turnips. Nice. I like how two of the characters have flame shirts. <laughs> Alright, that is debt four for player one. Nice. <clears throat> Oh, I could have dropped off this extra money outside the uh, post office. Would have been a little faster. All right. Now we can drop it off over here. Oh, 
Oh wait, I should have kept it in my inventory. So that way I don't catch garbage. Whoops. That's what I meant to do. Too late. Here we are. We're gonna we're just gonna work we're just gonna work with it. Um right, let's Well no wait, no no. No, I did that perfectly. Because now I can sell these. Never mind. All all according to plan. Calculated. Right, that was the plan. My, my bad. <laughs> nice! Alright, that's all of them. That's all the turnips. They've all been sold. Hopefully that's enough money. If not, not a huge deal. I can always... I always have the uh, auto-metal duplication set up. To sell a little more. In fact, I think I might be a little short. Oh my goodness. Can we... Please. Thank you. And after the end of September, we are, um, we're going to go ahead and do all of player one at once. All 40 bugs and fish for player one to get the golden rod and golden net. And the fish uh, weather vane and plaque. Whoops. Finish up player one. And then we can use the golden rod and golden net for the other players from here on out. Alright, coelacanth time. The last coelacanth. Where is it? Where is the fish, I should say? Oh! It's a coelacanth. Let's go! Nice! Would you look at that? Good stuff. Alright, let's get a snail. And move on. Indeed, look at that coelacanth. Four out of four coelacanths complete. Alright, let's find a snail. Get the ball out of the way. Alright, it's fine over here. Snail. Where's the snail? Come on, last snail. The final snail. Where are you at? Oh my goodness, player one needs a brook trout. <laughs> Imagine. Oh, I got a bass. It's fine. That would have been awesome. 
There's a snail. Cool. Moving along. All right. Good stuff. Next up will be um, September evening. And it will be when it's not raining. So we can get the crickets. Yeah. Why not? Wait. Ah, whatever. Oh, I should really carry around the shovel now. Cause that is a that's a pill bug. I think I heard it. Yeah, bell cricket. Nice. Fine, we'll find plenty of cockroaches. Next up, player two. I'm gonna go back to. Uh, I'm gonna go back an hour so Nooks is open. Jade, oh my goodness, hello. Good Jade. Wow. Wow, good Jade. Yes, very good Jade. Very good Jade. Jade, I can't see. Good, Jade. You should just lie there and be adorable. <laughs> Alright. Pay off the next debt. Catch some crickets along the way. Mm. 
Nice. Favorite shape for grass? Um, I think it'd be triangles because it means the snow will be stars. All right, get three. Player two, debt three. Next up, player three.
Moving along. Next up, player four. And then after this, it will be player one, until so player one is all the bugs and fish. Actually, that's not true. We got to do jellyfish, and then it will. Then it will be. Dang, player four is one ahead. Noted. Alright, we need a pine cricket. Alright, well, I guess I can start picking up money. Good. All right, we still need that pine cricket, though. There we are. There it is. Nice. Next up is August for the jellyfish, and then after the jellyfish. Then, then we will actually get the golden net and golden rod from player one. Nintendo. 
Hey, thanks for the good luck. Good to see ya. Hope you're doing well. Actually, I can drop this right there. Because I don't need it. At the moment... The final debt will actually be paid off by player four first. <laughs> That's crazy. Ah, missing one. Dang it. There we are. Oh, I did pick up an extra one. Never mind. I was good. Let's do a quick, uh, quick angelfish or piranha check for fun. Ah, uh, it's not a piranha. Quick angelfish check, though. Not nah, crucian carp. Oh my goodness, an aeropima. <clears throat> Yo, player four is an Aeropima. All right, let's go get that uh, jellyfish. It actually works out perfectly because I can sell that and have a little more money. <clears throat> ah, I should have brought the net. There's a mosquito right there. I didn't even think about that. This is actually a great time for mosquitoes. I should try to get one. Also, a good time for sea bass. Oh, wait. No, it's not a sea bass. <clears throat> Silly me. I just need a jellyfish. I am dumb. Jellyfish aren't out. Ugh. It needs to be... Uh, it's the second half that they're out. Sea bass are around, though. Might as well. While I'm down here, I might as well get a sea bass. Might as well make up for my blunder. Say, you know, salvage it a little bit. Stupid mosquito. Okay, it's actually not that big of a deal.
with that era Pima find, not a problem. Might as well catch this. I'm gonna need it need to catch large fish here at some point anyways. Alright, come on, get that jellyfish. We'll claim our statue as well. Nice. A little extra money will be helpful. Alright, jellyfish, mosquito. I'll look for, I'll catch flat stags. Um, we'll go ahead and get frogs and kill a fish as well. Oh, we got a kill a fish. Yo, if it's not, if it doesn't become trash. Nice. Player four is doing great. We got our frog. And our crawfish. Alright, now jellyfish. Mosquito. Don't care about drone beetle. It's fine. Alright, player four is done for now. Next up, player three. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, player three will... Did I do player three or player one? Oh, this is player three. Oh, okay. Cool. Player three is going to be done with the statue as well. So I need tin. There we go, player three is done. I'm actually going to go ahead and finish player two, so it'll be one extra save and quit, but that's okay. Why did I catch that? I already had that. <laughs> Whatever. Alright. Wow, we got to kill a fish for player three as well. Yo, look at this RNG. Good RNG. Can we catch it? It's not trash, of course. Nice. Yeah, that's what I thought. I already have a crawfish. Nice. Alright. Pond. Or, 
Wow, two killifish? There we go. And the jellyfish. Next up is player two. And for player two, we're going to go ahead and just do one extra day to pay off their debt. That way, if player one needs a little extra money, they already have the automatic duplication set up, ready to go. And I'm selling a few things so I can... Oops. So I can have enough money to, uh, uh, to optimize the money for player one. Should be good. Wait, what time is it? Ah. Oh. Yeah, it's plenty. Whoa, what were those things? Why was that so much? <laughs> oh, it was a snowman wardrobe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What time is it? Oh, 10.55. We got five minutes till Nooks closes. So I'll need to go back in time uh, by like a few minutes as well when I go to player one. go. Get four for player two. Get the, the rod. Net. Then I won't have to worry about my inventory after this. And after this, it will be bugs and fish for the rest of the run, which is exciting. 
It will be the uh, rare bugs and rare fish. There we go, we got the first player statues. <laughs> first set of player statues have been obtained. Nice. Alright, so I need 12, so 7 more. go debt three has been paid off all debts and then player one will be the final one nice and i think i have nine plus 15 i have 24 times three 600 720 thousand i am going to be a a very small quantity short, but I can get some uh, autumn metals to make up for it. Yeah, I'm going to be 70,000 short, so I only need... Wow, I actually only need one batch. So this might be optimal to do this. Neat. Alright, moving along. Pond fish next. Okay. Should I go for kill a fish? All the other players have one. <laughs> Except for player one. We'll do one, uh, one kill a fish attempt. Wow. Alright, well, hopefully it's not trash. Oh my goodness. Oh, well, okay. Okay, I'm on. Are you kidding me? Oh, there we go.
Nice! Kill a fish. Mosquito. And jellyfish. Excellent. Player two is doing great. Well, actually, and so is player four. Player three is kind of slacking because they need a guppy. Final bet by player one. And then we'll get the golden rod and golden net. No one's gotten a giant beetle on the way around town. ourselves a batch of autumn metals. Oh my goodness. Full pockets of money. Actually, that's fine. Oh, I... Oh. Plenty of money. I forgot. Player one has extra money. Oh, we're so good on money. We're going to have like 200,000 to spare. Nice. I need 10. So f there's 14 extra. Wow. So there's like 400,000 extra bells. There we have it. All four debts have been paid off. Jeez, that takes forever. Nice. Got there, though. That is all that matters.
All right, let's get our pond fish. Ah, mosquito. <laughs> mosquito. Fine. One kill a fish check. Ah, it's a frog. Alright. We'll get to kill a fish later, it's fine. Player one doesn't need it right now. Quick, bite it. Yes. <laughs> Jellyfish. Do we have a pill bug? We might. 5%. Ah. Does that mean we have a spider? Oh, there's a tree up there. I didn't know about that tree. It's fine. Moving along. This will be a split at long last. And when I save, I need I need to go to the bathroom. Alright, bear back. Alright, it's just bugs and fish from here on out. Uh, 4 a.m. July. I actually don't want rain. Eh, it doesn't really matter. Rain's fine. Uh, yeah. Yeah, here we go. There, look at all these statues. <laughs> there they all are. Oh, there's a- This is a pear tree! 
I didn't even notice. You've got to be kidding me, dude. No way. Are you kidding me? This was a pear tree the whole time. Oh, that sucks. Are you kidding? <laughs> what a joke. No way. Bugs aren't going to spawn on it now. I had no idea. Stupid pears. Uh, I mean, it's fine. We got a giant beetle. We still got this tree. That is hilarious. I mean, we still have one functional tree, so, you know, it's fine. They do blend in. Oh, well. Wow. Two giant beetles? I'm looking for a flat stag beetle. <laughs> oh, my goodness. There we are. I actually need an evening cicada. What? How is the last bug I need? Well, I need a spider. Where's the evening cicada? <laughs> What is happening? What is what is this RNG? No way. Spider? Oh, there's it. Oh, okay. Wow. I need an evening cicada? What? What is this? Are, what is going on here? The last bug is an evening cicada? <laughs> Are, that's like a... That's gotta be like a 1 in 10,000. That's gotta be a shiny odds. That is crazy. I've never seen that. I'll probably never see that again. Well, we got it. Alright. Cool. That it still worked out, didn't it? Still worked out. Okay, freshwater goby, neat. Oops. It's fine. Still need a sweet fish. Okay. Catfish is good, yeah, need that. And just to confirm, player one needs a goldfish. Yes. And we need the arowana, of course. Bass, check. How long does this run typically take? Um, I don't know, I've never done it. If I had to guess, eight hours. No one's ever done it, I just made it up today. All right, we got our large bass, probably. Should be a real run category, though. It's fun. Yeah, it's a large bass. Nice. All right, come on, arowana. I can, I can be testing for them now. Well, I still need eels. I love that you love that I love this game. 
I love that you guys love watching me play this game. That I enjoy playing very much. Alright, there's our eel. We can test for arowanas. And dace afterwards. I don't know. We'll see. We'll catch it. Oh. Could have been an arowana. Still need an arapaima. Ah, it's a bass. I don't... Just to confirm, yeah. And I definitely need a tiny fish at some point. Oh, this could be one. Yo, it is! Let's go! What's up, Harry? Thanks for the uh, good day. Good day to you, too. Yo, we got the arowana. Oh, that is amazing. Huge find. Looking for an arapaima and a large bass. Kind of weird that we need the large bass. Oh, wait, no, we don't need the large bass. Never mind, we just need an arapaima. We'll catch this for a koi. That'd be crazy. Another large bass. All right. We need, uh, we also need a tiny fish. Whether it's a goldfish or a killer fish. Either is fine with me. Nice. Killer fish is out of the way. We're looking for another tiny fish for a goldfish. Or the giant fish, the arapaima. Both are easy to identify. One is tiny, one is huge. Alright, come on, goldfish. Then we don't have to check tinies anymore. Yes! Excellent! Next up, Arapaima. No, I actually bought this flame shirt. Player three, though, did spawn with the flame shirt. All right, so Arapaimas, we can re-roll them. The one in a hundred, but we'll, we'll know when we find it. Yeah, one spawned in the shirt, one spawned on player three. So I so two of the of the four players have flame shirts. Pretty pretty excellent. All right, come on, Arapaima, where are you at? I mean, I can't complain. I just got an arowana, kill a fish, and goldfish in, like, no time at all. There it is. Oh my goodness. Yo, Captain with the Prime, thank you. This is going to be so much better when I have the Goldenrod. Let's go! Thank you for the prime sub cabin, Kraken. 
Thank you very much. All right, one, one giant catfish check. <laughs> oh my goodness, incredible! Don't need a brook trout, which is really funny. We will worry about that later. Moving along, insane RNG. Wow. Next up, July 4th at 9 a.m. Good deal. Moving along. It's still a bummer there's only one functional tree in this acre. But, you know, we'll work with it. I'm tempted to chop down this tree and replace it. I think I'm going to. Let's see if Nook, Nook and Go has an axe. Because I can sell all this stuff. Oh, except I have to listen to this dialogue. About the famous sculptor, price. I don't think it's very long, though. No axe, dang. I'm gonna go ahead and type in a code for an axe. This will save time for the other players. Is that considered whatever whatever you described? Is that legit or not? Uh, however you want to, uh, you know, however you want to play. I don't care. I'm not the one who decides all of these things. Cockroach, nice. That is up uh, to you to decide. All right. Moving along. Plus, I can get rid of these, these two trees in the way right here. find another common dragonfly. See, there's one now. All right. Look at all this room to catch banded dragonflies. all these statues. <laughs> there are a lot of statues in the way. Where are any bugs? Hmm. 
Wait. Is there something in this tree? No? Hmm. Hello, bugs. Ah. Hello. Oh, I already caught one. Whatever. Oh, whatever. Not every day you miss a common butterfly. Catch. <laughs> there was a 0% chance to catch that banded dragonfly. I'm an Animal Crossing calculator. Yep, says Shamana. Or Shamana. Domina knows. Domina knows a lot. Alright. The big find is the banded dragonfly. Player one already has a pawn skater, so I don't have to worry about that. Which is nice. Already got that. Would be nice to have two trees. Oh well. Sure is going to be fun catching four banded dragonflies. But... Thankfully, for the last three, I'm going to have a golden net. I didn't think about the statues getting in the way for the banded dragonfly, though. That's a unique situation for sure. And I guess we can look for pill bugs. Why not? Might have gotten one. Yeah, nice. All right. Next. What do I need during the day? I need the giant snake head. And I need the brook trout for player one. There's the giant snake head. Let's go. Gotta wait a minute for it to uh, exist down here. See if we can find a bug over in this acre somewhere.
Oh, a rainbow. Look at that. We'll go look at it uh, closer after this catch. Yes. Look at the rainbow. It's so cool. Very fun. All right, we're looking for a brook trout now. I actually don't need tiny fish. Brook trout, and we'll keep an eye out for banded dragonflies as well. Whatever that is, we don't need it. Wait, which, uh... Be scared. Nice golden spot. All right, we'll uh, we'll come back for the brook trout. I've only seen one banded dragonfly, and it was it instantly went away. Oh, purple butterfly. Nice. This one's also going to be really nice to have a golden net for. Just save a little time. Alright, we just need a walker cicada and a banded dragonfly. No big deal. Go look for the brook trout again. Ah, oh, if that was a banded dragonfly, the odds were good to catch it. The nice thing about the walker cicada is we can hear it. So as we run around, we might just find it by listening for it. Another giant snakehead. Bummer. Dang, no, like, I don't even have a banded dragonfly like, disappearing immediately on me anymore. They're just, they just don't exist. Oh, darn. <laughs> a darner dragonfly. Oh, there's a medium fish. It's in the river, though. Not the lake. Come on, where are you at, Brook Trout? Are you kidding me? No! <laughs> ah! If I had the golden net, I would have caught it. It would have had the range. Ah, oh, dang. If 
that river was just just in the way bummer Uh, be right back. All right, I'm back. I have a PB and J ready to go when I'm done with this. Split. Not yeah, the luck's running a little a little dry at the moment. I hear a walker cicada, no. <laughs> it was oh there's a brook trout though. Well, 50-50. 50-50 for a brook trout. Come on. That is probably one. No! Oh! Oh, the RNG is drying out. It feels bad. Where's that RNG at? That RNG... It was going so strong for so long. And now it is gone. I didn't catch a walker cicada. Not, nope. A different player did catch one, though. It all dried up. RNG has dried up. Ouch. Yeah, bummer. Bummer, bummer, bummer. Oh, wait, I finished the July 4 a.m. split. We'll just call that good there. Good enough. Please be a brook trout. <laughs> yes, thank you. Needed a, I needed a little boost. All right, good. Need a uh, that banded dragonfly and walker cicada now.
Are you kidding me? No. The statue! <laughs> My own statue got in the way! Oh, that's so sad. It, the statue actually got in the way. Oof. What a bummer. I didn't, uh, I didn't think that one through. Yo, what's up, Snow Bear? My own statue. If I just didn't pay off my debts yet, I would have caught that. Noted. Don't pay off the debts until t until this day. I guess. This is also a really bad time to be hungry. Yeah, the statues are for paying off all your debts. They're all for paying off your debts. Let's go. Got it. Alright, I can eat my sandwich now. Thank you. Oh. I'll mark this ladybug in a minute. Do I have this? I think I got it. Oh yeah, I have it in my inventory. Hey, what's up, Figuera? Good to see ya. Thank you very much for the prime. How are you doing? There it is. Alright. Moving along. Next up is June, 3 a.m. And no rain as well.
Dang it. Thirty percent chance for rain. Rest in peace. One minute. Oh wait a second! Silly me. <clears throat> if that happens again, I have another strat. I can get the firefly last. It's fine. Silly me. Forgot my own strat. Yeah, they probably never re-release this on any other console because it's so hard to program. Such a pain to program. So many moving parts. Oh, we already got a small fish. Alright. It's fine. We are looking for an angelfish and a piranha. <clears throat> Freshwater goby is good as well. Um, angelfish and piranha. If it's a small fish, it's a 1 in 15 each. Not an angelfish, could be a piranha. Got the Crucian Carp. I actually needed that. <laughs> wow, lots of small fish. Oh my goodness, we got the angelfish. Alright, easy angelfish. We can test for piranhas now. Wow. Love to see it. Did we get the catfish? Yeah. We'll get koi's later. Piranha, we can uh, cast a rod like that. And it can see from behind. Wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and we're done with this split. Go get that firefly. <laughs> Amazing. Incredible RNG, wow. Alright, just need one of these. Hardest bug in the game, there we go. Moving along. That all worked out with the rain on the first day. Even at Freshwater Gobi as well. <laughs> like, oh yeah, I'll just grab exactly one of each fish that I need quickly and be done. Alright, next up is March. The waterfall is a very good waterfall. So we shouldn't have too much issue. 8 a.m. It is... Uh, March 20th. So it's not raining. 8 a.m. Good to go. <clears throat> Alright, first things first, let's just get the butterfly and ladybug out of the way. Good. Well, if we find a yellow ladybug, great. Alright, well, we'll come back for the yellow ladybug. We found, like, a dozen white... Butterfly or a yellow yellow ladybug. Yellow butterfly. Found like a dozen white butterflies. I don't think this is a cherry salmon. No. We need a cherry salmon, rainbow trout, large char, and loach. We will catch large fish as we find them as well.
Oh, wait, this waterfall is not as good as I thought it was. Actually, this waterfall kind of sucks. Bummer. We'll try to work with it, though. Actually, this waterfall is terrible. Well, yeah, it's pretty bad. Could be worse. Oh, there's a yellow butterfly. Dang it. I, I, I care more about this butterfly at the moment. Get over here. <laughs> there. <laughs> Yoink that thing. <laughs> Alright, great. Nice, large char potential. Yes, excellent. Yo, what's up, Violet Pumpkin? Good to see ya. How are you doing? Thanks for the raid. Alright, there's our cherry salmon. Probably. Yeah. Alright, just need a loach. Catch large fish as we find them as well. <clears throat> Nope. Looks like we'll be getting a koi in winter. We'll, uh, we'll do one check for a large fish. Nope. Alright. Moving along. See? That's how easy March can be. No big deal. All right, up next is winter. We'll complete the first house. I am excited. Five hours. Uh, yeah, that'll work. Alright, we need a mole cricket, bagworm, and bee. I'm actually going to start with the fish. Because I can get... Uh, I can get the second tree to grow. For the, uh, for the bagworm. After this. Yeah, hey, what's up, uh, Violet Pumpkin? Thanks again for the raid. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. And thanks for the good luck. Alright, we're looking for a... Nice. Bitterling. Okay, 10% chance for a koi. It's a large fish. That's that's going to be the big find, as well as the string fish. Uh, possibly a large bass. Can't say for sure yet. Yeah, we got a large... I think this is a large bass. Yeah, it's a large bass. I don't even want it. Dang. Same odds as a koi. Ah! Double bitterlings. A one in nine. That's another bitterling. This one, I don't know. Probably a pond smelt. I just stream every now and then, yeah. No, I'm not... I don't make money, or I don't make enough money to justify a streaming schedule. But every little bit is always appreciated, so thank you. And actually, it is uh, motivating me to stream more. If it wasn't for the audience, I would probably stream significantly less.
<clears throat> All right, we are looking for... There we go, large fish. Come on, koi. I'm glad you enjoyed my streams. Very happy to hear that. I enjoy playing Animal Crossing. So, the feeling is mutual. All right. Come on, Winter. Two rare fish remain. Two rare fish between stand between us and Goldenrod. <clears throat> And Jade, yes, Jade has been hanging out with us this whole time, off screen. But now she's on screen, slightly. Good Jade. Oh my goodness. Come on. Hey, we got the koi. Let's go. All right. We just need that string fish. I'm going to go get the sea bass out of the way. Maybe we'll run into a string fish along the way. You never know. We did not run into a string fish. Nice. No red snapper troll. That's good. Nope, don't need to keep him. We do not need to donate the fish. As long as you catch the fish, it counts towards your fish collection. You also cannot uh, transfer them between characters. I mean, you can, but it doesn't count for the other players for the uh, bug and fish collection if you don't physically catch the bug or fish. Otherwise, I would just transfer the bugs and fish between, like, the gyroid or something, or at least the rare ones. But that is not a thing. That is not how that works. We must catch... Four of every fish and four of every bug. Isn't that great? Alright, we're just looking for a string fish. Same odds as an Arapaima. We'll be able to... Or the same same odds and the same strategy as the Arapaima. We will know when we find it. And we got the best acre in the game to look for it. So it shouldn't take too long. One would hope. Yeah, my goal is to get this done before bedtime. So, in the next three hours. We'll see. It's going to be close. It's all going to come down to some decent RNG. Speaking of which, I need some of that right now. <clears throat>
One in a hundred. Come on, Stringfish. Stringfish number one of four. <laughs> I'm ready to see a Stringfish. Come on. There we are. Yeah. Would have seen that if it was a golden rod. Really? Alright, that'll work. Oh, it moved. Nice! Alright, the first 40 fish! Yay, let's go! Yes! Fantastic. Alright. We are done with the fishing rod for now. Let's go forward four days so that the tree grows that I replaced the pear tree with. <clears throat> Wait, current player zero? Jade. I think Jade pressed the button to... <laughs> Sorry, Jade. I forgive you. Current player one. There is no player zero. Alright. First things first. Get our golden rod. Nice! We're not going to get the Golden Rod and Golden Net for all four players, because we don't need to. Um, so I'm going to catch all the bugs and fish for the last three players all on the final day. So that way I don't have to see this dialogue eight times. Eight times between the Golden Rod and Golden Net. But, player two can use this. Nice. Alright, and our tree should have grown, so we should now have... Two trees for bagworms. Excellent. Bagworm, bee, and mole cricket. See what we can do here. I'm also going to check for an axe, so I can buy another axe, since we have Nookway now. Ugh, Nook, sell an axe, please. Oh well. Ah, I found bees. Nice. That's good. Alright, I was going to run around picking weeds while looking for bees. But I guess I don't need to do that now. Let 
Nice. All right. Back to the bagworms. The two percent chance for a bagworm to spawn. If this dump acre did not have a bush, there would be a, a really good strat I could implement in October. But that's fine. We'll get we'll get one, I believe. There we are, see? No big deal. All right, just the mole cricket. Mole Cricket is a 10%. I have a strat to guarantee it. Oops. There it is. Let's go! All the bugs as well. Bugs and fish for player one complete. Drop that off right there. And let's go get our... Well, let's save and quit. And we will get our fish weather vane and bug plaque after we get our golden net. Yes! One down. One house down. This will be house one once we get the bug plaque and weather vane. And I've already finished. You can see that August at 7 p.m. split. I've already done that. I did that early, so I can I can just skip those. All right, we'll get our golden net and then move on. Ah, and now the remaining bugs and fish can be caught easier, more easily. Yay! Let's go! Alright, now we talk to a villager. Hello! I caught every insect! Incredible, I caught every fish! That's interesting, they did bugs first. And now... There we have it! Fish weather vane and bug plaque on the house. That is house one complete. Nice. And we are skipping August at 7 p.m. as well as September at 7 p.m. We're going back to July. All right. Time for player two. Goes up, Trey. August 7 p.m. is your favorite. Well, we did it earlier, so. Um, so there you have it. You could, uh, you can go rewatch the VOD. Alright, July at 4 a.m. That'll work. Alright. 
All right, so I've already caught snail, mosquito, ant. Golden net. <laughs> awesome. And we got two trees this time. There, now we got the common bugs first this time. Can't believe Evening Cicada was the last one. Before. Crazy. Crazy RNG. Do we have a spider already? We oh, no, not yet. Maybe. Oh, no. Look at this golden net. How cool is that? I think we got ourselves a spider this time. Yep. All right, now we got two giant beetles last time. And now we are looking for a giant beetle. Uh, oh wait, no, I need the saw stag beetle. Saw stag. In giant beetle. <clears throat> All right, just need the giant beetle. Not a surprise. I do need the cockroach. I shouldn't scare away cockroaches. <clears throat> so glad I planted a second tree. Yo, let's go. Alrighty, time to go fish. I'm actually going to have both the regular fishing rod and the uh, normal one. Oops. Alright, here we go. Time for some rare fish. But we got the golden rod, so it'll make fishing slightly easier. I think that's... I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a bass. What's up, Sandbag? Double houses in New Horizons? I don't know. Alright. I'm actually curious to see how different of a feel it is to use the Goldenrod. I'm just going to keep it for now. <clears throat>
Alright, I actually don't need this. Right? Right. Nice, Arapaima, Goldenrod, perfect for this. Nice. I haven't seen a large fish yet. I've seen an Arapaima. I've seen a massive fish, but not a large. It's weird. There we go. <clears throat> okay, that's good. I'm going to switch to a regular fishing rod now that we got the Arapaima out of the way. Dang it, I don't know what this is. Probably a bass, but you never know. Ow. <clears throat> Don't want it. Not a large bass. Alright, we got our... I, well, actually, I don't know. This might be an eel, based off its behavior. Yeah, we got our eel. We can switch to a goldenrod to make this slightly easier now. Neat. Dang it, that was too good of a cast. I don't know what this is. <laughs> oh, it was a large bass. Excellent. Alright, just need an arowana. No big deal. Just one of the hardest fish in this run to catch. Thankfully, I've gotten decent at figuring out if it's an arowana slash dace or not. Uh, but I'm not sure about this one. Okay. <clears throat> Have I got a freshwater goby for this guy? No. Second Arapaima. Alright, it happens. Whoops, that was a medium. It's alright. I mean, what are the odds it was an Arapaima followed by an Arowana, right? You know? What are the odds? Bass, don't want it. Third Arapaima. <laughs> Bass. Oh, caught it.
Don't want it. Dang it. Nope. Ah, dang it. I don't know what this is. <clears throat> well, this Erewhon is not going quite as nicely as the last one. Oh, this could this is a Dacer and Erewhon, probably. Yes! Let's go! All right. Two arowanas. Check for a giant catfish, otherwise we'll get it in June. Alright, it's fine. Moving along. All right, not bad. 12 minutes. Now we do it again with player three. <clears throat> What's up, Master? Thank you very much. Master of 2D. Appreciate that. Appreciate the sub. Thank you. Glad you're enjoying the Animal Crossing. Time for some more rare fish and bugs. First, the bugs. Player three. Got a cockroach. All right, just need the two rarest bugs now. All right, nice. Just need a spider. Shouldn't, uh, shouldn't be too challenging to find. One would hope. The train! That was a weird sound effect by the train. The door opened. There's our spider. Alright. Easy. <clears throat> Back to the rare fish. Wow, 
Wow, giant catfish. Come on. Thank you. All right. Alright, Dace, good. Wait, did player two get a sweet fish? Shoot. Alright. Player two is going to need to come back for a sweet fish. It'll take about one minute. <laughs> oh my goodness. Player three got a koi. <laughs> Let's go. All right. We got the, the bonus koi for player three. Worth it. Wow, player three has all the large fish. We're gonna leave those unmarked because not all the players have those. I think this is an eel. And we can unequip the goldenrod. Oh, it wasn't. It was a dace. That could have been an arowana. Oh wait, player two already had a cockroach. Nice. That's good. <clears throat> I'm gonna re-equip the regular rod for now. That was a bass, but... Um... Player 4 already has an Arapaima, by the way. Really nice. Alright, probably a large bass. Yeah, for sure a large bass. <clears throat> Alright, Arapaima, Arowana. Here we go. Oh wait, it could have been. I think it's a bass, but there's a chance. I'm gonna go for it. Yeah, all right. Oh wait, we need we do wait, do we need an eel? This player? No, we just caught one. We literally Oh wait. Did I did I catch one? No, we do need an eel. Silly me. There we are. All right, Arowana, Arapaima, nothing else. Not even a koi for player three. <clears throat> or a giant catfish.
<clears throat> I don't want to catch this. Player 3 does need a guppy, though. <clears throat> a bit of a bummer. Oops. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't think it's anything good, yeah. <clears throat> Player 3 needs catfish, right? Yeah. We'll get it in June. Could be it. No, it was another dace. <clears throat> ah, terrible cast. No, that's not it. It's all good. Nope. Could be it. Dang. Four days. Now we're we are in bad luck territory with the arowana. On average you'll find an arowana. If it's a dace or an arowana, you'll find it on on, on average within three. <clears throat> that was the fourth. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Yeah. Whoops. It's fine. We still need Narapaima. We need both the rare fish for player three. Both are being a pain. It's a bass. Well, we're catching it. <clears throat> Dang. Bummer luck. Started off incredible for player three. Well, we did get the koi and the giant catfish. Gotta remember that. Nice. Nice. Ah, there was a chance that was it. Nope. Uh, I don't know. Oh, it's it. <laughs> Let's go! Arowana number three! Whew! Alright, just need the Arapaima. 
and equip the golden rod for that one. All right, Arapaima, one in a hundred. I'm ready. This will be the last Arapaima. Player 4 already has one. Which is really awesome. I wish Player 3 had one. We'll get it. We'll get there. It'll appear any second now. Come on. I gotta go to sleep in two hours. In like 30 minutes. So let's pick up the pace here, Arapaima. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Aside from player 4's Arapaima... Actually, no, that's not true. Player 3 found 3 Arapaimas before the Arowana, didn't it? Yep. Sure did. That's where they all went. Player... Th or player 2. Player 2 found 3 Arapaimas. This is unfortunate. <clears throat> yeah, bummer. Bummer, losing a good amount of time on Arapaima number three here. On the final Arapaima. I'm sure player four is going to find tons of Arapaimas while looking for the Arowana.
Well, bedtime in two hours and 30 minutes is looking less and less promising. <laughs> Gonna need some RNG to make up for this later. Maybe some more fast angelfish and piranhas later. For all three players. Still a lot of bugs and fish left even after this. Yeah, it's brutal. Brutal Arapaima. There we go. And it's also not playing nice. Goldenrod, saving some time right there. Airpime would not have gone for that range with the normal rod. All right, move along. Bummer. Lost like 10 minutes. Alright. We gotta do a quick pit stop with player 2 to get the sweet fish. I finally caught a piece of trash. Let's go. <laughs> All right, there's our sweet fish. Goldenrod not um, providing the range I was hoping it would. There we go. All right, moving along. Back to player four. Alright. 
All right, it's the rare ones. I think we got our spider over here. Yep. Just need the giant beetle. No big deal. The last giant beetle. Come on, giant beetle number... Four. All right. Done with cockroaches as well. Double trees is really nice. Too bad the first tree was a pear tree. <laughs> it's alright. We made it work. Not getting as lucky with the fourth giant beetle. Ah, we missed the, all the fives. <laughs> That's the last one. Rip. Five hours, 55 minutes, 55 seconds, and 55 hundredths of a second. Gone. Sorry, right, you can still be here for uh six five four three two one zero. I think it also works for seven as well. No, no it doesn't. Unless we finish before then, um, which is wishful thinking. <laughs> Come on, giant beetle, where are you at? You're the last, last giant beetle of the run. I think we got a spider over here. What? It didn't scare this thing away? Hey, what's up, gaming? Welcome. Thanks for the good luck. I'm doing great. 
getting a little bad luck here with this last giant beetle. But it'll appear here soon enough. I just know it. I hope. I mean, if I get a quick arowana, um, I guess that works too. But we are gonna need a giant beetle here. ASAP. So far, the, the final bug or fish that's rare They've all been bad RNG. Alright, we got a spider over there. Dang it. Still have a spider? Sandbag, there was no giant beetle. Yeah, this is really, really bad RNG. I should have, on average, found three by now. There we are. There, I just had to complain some more. Alright, moving along. Stupid giant beetle. Rip. Alright, imagine if it's a brook trout. Wouldn't that be funny? Nope. <clears throat> I already have a sweet fish. Ah, this fish, I am unsure what it is. I am now sure it is a bass. And I'm switching to the regular rod for now. Jade, can't see. Jade, are you serious? I can't see. Okay, thank you. Now I can see. All right, we got the eel. Good Jade. Jade. Right. That's a bass. I don't need it. All right. We need a large bass. There's our large bass. We can swap out for a golden rod to make this slightly easier. Maybe. Cool.
All right, just need an arowana now. Oh wait, I do need a goldfish. So I will catch tiny fish. Oh, this could be an arowana. Oh my goodness, it is! Let's go! Let's go! Oh my goodness. Oh, I still need a goldfish for this player, though. That's a one in a hundred, just as rare as an arapaima. Dang it. Ugh, I knew I was going to find an arapaima. I already have one, right? Yeah. I need the goldfish. There's no other reason to try to find one. Well, I could try to find one in September. Hmm. Nah, I should just get one now. I really hope I don't get trolled by the goldfish of all things. Oh, Jade, are you kidding me? I can't see. Go lie elsewhere. Nice, we got the goldfish. Good Jade. All right, one giant catfish check. All right, that made up for it, kind of. We good here? I think we're done. All right, moving along. Next up, 9 a.m. No, I didn't mean to load player one. There's no need to be playing as player one. <laughs> Good Jade. Good Jade. <clears throat> All right, player four. I do need a pawn skater. Let's just go. Let's just get the giant catfish out of the way first. Oh, wait, I can catch a sweet fish with player. I could have caught a sweet fish with player two during the day. Silly me. Let's go! First bug is a banded dragonfly. Yo! Oh my goodness, that's amazing. What? All right, all right. Now we're now we're moving. Excellent. That is fantastic. <laughs> Do I need this? No. Incredible. All right, good stuff, good stuff. Let's, uh, let's get that. Ten percent for the giant catfish. Let's just get it out of the way, because that's all I need. And look for a pond skater at the same time. Giant catfish, excellent. Got our trusty goldenrod. It's cool that I can't cast the rod any closer for no reason. There we go. 
first mm, big m miss of the day. Bummer. Jade, you were blocking a 10% of the screen. <laughs> You you are a major distraction. I'm moving you. Moving you. Oh, good Jade. There we go. Jade. Okay. She doesn't want to be pet right now. It's understandable. On. There we go. Redemption. All right, all good. Now then, where was I? Player 4 does need a walker cicada. Only player 2 got a bonus one. Also, that banded dragonfly I caught earlier, I might have only caught it because of the golden net. <laughs> Oh, wait, I already have this. Alright, just need all the rare tree bugs left. Oh, and the pond skater. Yeah, I can't forget the pond skater. Let's go let's go to a pond and find that thing. Here's a pond. Pawn skaters are, I think, 8% right now? Or no, they're 5%. But well, we can check tree bugs at the same time over here. That's kind of nice. There's our pawn skater. Right. 
still need every rare tree bug. Kind of a bummer. Alright, got one of them. I have all the butterflies, right? Just want to confirm that. Yeah, except for the purple one. Need the walker cicada and purple butterfly. Don't need another jewel beetle. Unfortunately. Cats. Two cats on the desk at once. Yo, Hunter, thank you very much for the sub. Welcome. Appreciate that a lot. Glad you were enjoying the Animal Crossing. And you made it. You made it to the speedrun. I am getting uh, some bad luck here with these tree bugs. I got a really good luck with the banded dragonfly. But unfortunately, I'm losing all that time that I saved. Losing it all on these tree bugs. There's one. Alright, just need that walker cicada. This is the last... No, this is not the last walker cicada. I wish. I'll still need one more. Thankfully, we can hear the thing. But yeah, thank you for the sub, and thank you for the good luck. Another jewel beetle. Bummer. There we go. All right. Moving along here. Player 3 needs a guppy, unfortunately. Nintendo. 
No, this is not an official speedrun category. I just made it up because it looks fun. Alright, first things first, once again, let's get the giant catfish out of the way. But this time I'm going to need to get a guppy. Oh my goodness, please, just be a guppy. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> I no longer need a guppy for player three. <laughs> okay, that's the luck I needed. Oh, I needed that badly. That made That just saves so much time. Wow, another tiny fish. Right? That's what I needed? Yes? Yes. <laughs> oh, what a relief. That just saved a massive amount of time. Potentially. Alright, giant catfish, or giant snakehead, where are you at? Get you out of the way quickly as well. That'd be great. So I have a I now have a backup strat to get the Popeye goldfish for player two if I am unable to get it in this month. Combine this with one hundred percent. Yes, you're right. I'm honestly not sure why one hundred percent doesn't already include this. Probably just because they didn't want to they just didn't want to. Oh yeah, which butterflies do I need? I have them all. Still need the banded dragonfly. So, you know. Got it. Oh, there's our giant snake head. Nice. Alright. Here we go. Done with fishing. Yeah, lake just below the house is amazing. I agree. We already have the walker cicada. I already have this. I don't know why I caught this. <laughs> yeah, aren't these statues great? They did mess up me catching a banded dragonfly earlier, though. But it's alright. Yes. <laughs> well, no. Well, yeah, skill issue, you're right. Yep. I just had to perfectly navigate around them. Yep, you're right. Oh my goodness. I knew I was going to find walker cicadas with player three when I already have one, right? Yeah. Of course. The first cicada I find... Wait a second. Player 2 has the walker cicada. Ah! I do need this one for player 3. That was the evening cicada. Well, whatever. I found it quickly. And I do need the pond skater as well for player 3. I'm not on player 2 right now. Getting them all mixed up. Alright, let's go get that pond skater. Are you kidding me? The banded dragonfly spawned in the pond. So it was it was already it was gone before I could even have a chance. Spawned in the pond.
I mean, no, I don't care about you right now. Oh, purple butterfly. Alright, I'll take it. I did play her one sequentially, but otherwise, no, I'm not going to do them sequentially. Because I want to finish them all on the same day. That way I don't have to collect a golden rod and golden net for all of them. Just the first player. Come on, pawn skater. I uh, this is the last pawn skater. This is classic. The last of the, all the bugs and fish so far have all been a pain. Even the walker skater, that would have been my last walker cicada. But I scared it off because I thought I already had it for this player. Funny. Oh my goodness. The last pawn skater, please. Ugh. This is not supposed to be the bug that is uh, tri gonna trip me up. But here we are. There it is. Get, get over here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Here we are. Alright. <clears throat> Moving along. Need a banded dragonfly. I already have a purple butterfly. Dang it. Come on, banded dragonfly. All right, just the three rarest bugs left.
Dang it. Yes, yeah, is uh, this is unfortunate, but you know, could turn around quickly with a little RNG. There's our third purple butterfly, bummer. Same odds as the other bugs, the other rare bugs. All right, Walker cicada and banded dragonfly. <clears throat> We can hear walker cicadas, is nice. Feel really silly for scaring off the first one I found. Oh well. There we are. What? Why? Are you kidding me? Why did it do that? We'll find another one. Dang, that sucks. What a bummer. Alright, we haven't found a banded dragonfly yet. So, you know, there's that. Yeah, more jewel beetles. Ah, the dump got in the way. Let's see if I can still catch it. Nope, it was gone. Another jewel beetle. Dang it! Ah, the RNG is not playing nice anymore. Four jewel beetles, three purple butterflies. And not one banded dragonfly attempt yet. Okay. Now just a banded dragonfly.
These acres are working out kind of well. The wide open acres are good. on banded dragonfly number three nice tiny fish Oh, I s the what? Why did that banded dragon flight instantly go away? I swear I saw one. It's long gone now. Are you... Interesting. Yeah, this is a bummer. Dang it. My hope is dwindling to finish before bed. The third banded dragonfly is costing a ton of time. Not good.
Bummer. Yeah, this is a real bummer. This is a real, real bummer. Dang. It was going so well. For the most part. Yo, what's up, Akimbo? Welcome. We were cruising with the RNG until we weren't. And here we are. But, you know, it's not over. Really? Yeah, the, the Jade statue's great, isn't it? <laughs> I agree. Great, there's another walker cicada. Nice, sounds good, Akimbo. Sounds like a great time. 
I I knew what you meant, probably. All right. Still nothing. Another purple butterfly. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. I'm not going to be able to finish this tonight. At this rate. Pushed my luck. What do you think I'm looking for? A banded dragonfly. I've been looking for for 10 minutes. Why else would I be aimlessly wandering around? Another walker cicada, of course. Oh my goodness. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, this is the worst bug. Oh my god. <laughs> every rare bug, every bug, back to back to back to back to back, except for the banded dragonfly, right then and there. Oh, uh, that's great. I'm doing alright. I was, I was doing well. Now I'm... Frustrated that I'm losing 15 minutes in counting to this banded dragonfly. It's not like I've even missed an opportunity. Literally, I haven't even had an opportunity to catch one. I know, just find it. Exactly. I've found every other bug 20 times over. Great, there's another purple butterfly. Great, found a ladybug. Great, another walker cicada. Uh Another jewel bee. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. This is great.
This is unbelievable RNG. Like... I don't know. 1 in 500 at this point. Hard to say exactly. You know how many tiny fish I've accidentally stumbled upon at this point? I've lost count. And the number of jewel beetles, and walker cicadas, and purple butterflies I have now encountered. Wow. 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 More tinies. on the wishing well, I guess. Because why not? Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah, I deserve that. There's a balloon. You're right at 1033, though. I mean... Got more walker cicadas. To get that balloon, you have to follow it till it uh, gets caught in a tree. Nice purple butterfly. Up we go. Good thing this isn't a real speedrun category. <laughs>
Yeah, this was fun until it wasn't. <laughs> Had a good time until, uh, until this. Oh, well. Unfortunately, it looks like I'm not going to be finishing this tonight. I will continue to play. Um, but, sadly, I think this is going to be GG. RNG has defeated this run. Cutoff time, like 10 minutes. I mean, honestly, now, but I'll give it 10 more minutes. I mean, I kind of just want to see until I even get a chance at Abandoned Dragonfly. Just go until I even have, like, an opportunity. And if I miss it, then, you know, then that, that's one thing if I miss the opportunity. But to even get an opportunity... Um, I should have had, like, over a dozen, if not more. Probably, like, I should have had an, at least, like, 15 to 20 opportunities by this point. I've found... A, I've found... Yep, yeah, I've now officially found 10 of every other rare bug... Ten jewel beetles, ten walker cicadas, ten purple butterflies. No, this is GameCube. Playing on console. There's capture cards for every console, as far as I'm aware. Art! There, I caught it. There were literally two at the same time. <laughs> Hmm. 
One in a thousand. Now we do it again? Savannah. Alright, we, we do need a pop-eyed goldfish, unfortunately. Favorite villager would be Fang. Yeah, Fang's pretty cool. I'm a fan. He's my favorite because he was my first villager in my first town. And I also like his house. And he's cool. Alright. Good. Goldenrod. Showing its worth. Alright, I do need the... All right, we got the banded dragonfly for player two. Do need the Popeye goldfish, so we're gonna go for that. We're done with banded dragonflies. Popeye goldfish is one in a hundred. There is another opportunity for me to get one in September for one in fifty. But at this point, we're we're just going for the one in a hundred. Oh yeah, which uh, which butterflies do I need? Tiger butterfly. Okay. And the purple one, of course.
All right, we've caught everything but a Popeye goldfish now. That's awesome. Very fun, very cool. Every tiny fish, I should say. Caught everything but the one we need. Gotta love it. Very cool. Yeah, now we start over again. <laughs> okay, we do need this. No! I almost accidentally caught a banded dragonfly. I would have been so mad. I feel like if I spend the one minute going for the Popeye Goldfish in September, I'm I'm still not going to find it. Though at this point I am tempted. If I I'm going to go for one more tiny fish. If I don't get the Popeye Goldfish, we're going to September, making a pit stop in September before I'm done with uh, uh, with this split. One more tiny fish, one in twenty-five, and then a one in four. Okay. Yeah, alright, we're going to September after this nonsense is over with. Okay. Back to the bug hunting. Nice. Okay, that's very good. Need the jewel beetle. Some cicadas. Common dragonfly. Don't need that butterfly. Actually, I don't need any butterflies now. Do I need this? No. Wait, do I have the drone beetle? Oh, I do, okay. Okay, yeah, we're good. Alright, jewel beetle and common dragonfly. Then we're going to September for the Popeye goldfish. Yeah, I knew I was going to find a walker cicada when I don't need one. Yeah, knew I was going to find another one. <laughs> Jewel beetle and common dragonfly. I found over a dozen jewel beetles for player... Three. So I'll I just need one of those for player two. Oh, I need this, yes.
Another purple butterfly, classic. Another purple butterfly, yep, 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 yep. Nothing unusual here. Yeah. And another purple butterfly, of course. All right, some random ladybugs, I guess. Why not? There's a common dragonfly. All right, just need the jewel beetle. I saw about 15 of them for player three. Over a dozen. We are all right. See, that's what much more reasonable. On average, should take like 13 minutes, and I got two 13-minute segments. All right, we're making a pit stop to September for a pop-eyed goldfish. All right, Popeye Goldfish. Also, do I have the freshwater goby for this character? No. One of them does. All right, 1 in 50 for the Popeye Goldfish. As opposed to a 1 in 100. Excellent. All right. That was worth it. And we are done here. All right. Next up is June. It says 9 p.m., but we... Actually, we are going to do 9 p.m. Wait. No, we don't need to do 9 p.m. We can do 3 a.m. Because we already have the mosquito. But we do need to for it to not be raining. No, not player one. Oh. If it's raining, whatever. We'll go back a day. Okay. No rain is good. We'll get the firefly. And... You know what? I could reset when I accidentally choose player one. Because I don't need to go back to player one. That's actually really... I don't know why I haven't been doing that. All right. 
Get ourselves a Firefly. Um, yeah. Do I already have the catfish? Yeah, I need the giant catfish. Though. Firefly is 20%, I think, right now. Dang it, Brian. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, yo, let's go. We got the piranha. All right, that's very good. One of them is done. There's some fireflies. Get those out of the way. All right, we just need the angelfish and the giant catfish. Freshwater goby is also welcomed. 10% for the giant catfish. Player 3 already has one. Which is nice. But I still need one for player 2. Um, I do need a dace. Probably, I don't know. Oh, I got a dace. Let's go. That's neat. Alright, we can test for angelfish slash freshwater gobies. That is that a piranha? I which I already have. Oh, I didn't want to catch this, but whatever. Yeah, this is definitely my favorite game of all time. I love this game. I love Animal Crossing. Even when it's frustrating, when it will, when banded dragonflies uh, just cease to exist. Still my favorite game. Three AM. You know what that means? Oh yeah, freshwater goby. Nice. Oh boy, 3 a.m. Exactly. <laughs> Don't need that. Oh, we have a potential one in four. Ah, another freshwater goby. All right. Come on, giant catfish, where you at? Get you out of the way. Ten percent for a giant catfish. I don't even see a fish. I saw that one. Alright, another possibility here. Nope, another freshwater goby. Fish will respawn 
uh, every time you switch acres, if there is not a fish already in that acre. Uh, but there, if assuming you have a perfect town rating or a, an acceptable town rating, assuming your town rating isn't bad, I should say. I don't know. I'm gonna catch this. I'm not sure. Okay. Oh, there, there's our giant catfish. Alright, nice. Get that out of the way. What is it doing? Stop doing that. What is it doing? <laughs> it's swimming away. <laughs> Bummer. I mean, we'll get it. It's just taking time. Did I see the e-reader card creator that Hunter made? I, um, no. I, I know that, uh, I know that he made some dot codes for, um, for Legend of Zelda and Super Mario Bros., I don't know, he made a dot code creator. That's cool. That is pretty awesome. There we go. All right, we got the giant catfish. I will check it out. The future for custom cards is looking bright. All right, just need the angelfish. This could be one right here. No, fourth freshwater goby. I switch between the rods because... Uh, with the regular rod, I can tell, um, like, based off of the range and the angle that fish will go towards the bait, uh, what kind of fish it could be. With the golden rod, though, that changes. So, um, I will use the golden rod to catch difficult-to-catch fish, like arapaima, eel, basically ones that have a really small radius. But then I'll use the regular rod to determine if I found, like, an angelfish slash freshwater goby or something else, as well as an arowana slash dace or something else. Alright. One in a hundreds. That is the name of the game. For, uh, for June. Actually, that could have been it. Dang it. Oh well. We'll find another one. Probably freshwater goby. Okay, this this actually could be one right here. One in four. Dang it. <laughs> Got the freshwater goby again. Alright, we're getting bad luck with the angel fish, unfortunately. It's not devastating RNG yet, but we are in bad luck territory. Oh, that wasn't a good enough cast to determine what this is. So we'll just catch it. We got ourselves a second piranha. That's great. Same odds as an angelfish. Ah, once again, not good enough to determine what this is. Yeah, this is unfortunately very bad luck for the angelfish at the moment. Six freshwater gobies, two piranhas.
Oh well. We will continue. Ah, uh, lunge for it. I don't know what it is. Three piranhas. That is hysterical. No, I will complete... I completed one first, and then two, three, and four, I will be catching the, the respective fish and bugs for each month at the same time. Like, same day. Because I can... If I know what the weather is on one day, then if I stay on that same day... Oh, here we go. Another possible angelfish. Nope. Seventh freshwater goby. Should have found two angelfish by now. I was hoping to get this done within eight hours, but that is not looking promising at the moment. Uh, I don't know what this is. Okay. Oh, we might have needed that. <laughs> okay, we have another opportunity here. Nope. Eighth freshwater goby. Nope. Nope. Every small fish is a 1 in 15 to be an angelfish. Okay, another opportunity. Freshwater goby number nine. It sucks. Ah, it's not anything good. No. Nope. I was hoping after that banded dragonfly fiasco that the rest of the run would be good, but it is uh, it is not, unfortunately. A lot of small fish checks, which is nice. Alright, could be it. Wasn't a good enough cast to determine. Alright, freshwater goby number 10. Could have found three angelfish by now. We found three piranha, kin, freshwater gobies, and, you know, random crucian carps and small bass. That's a medium. Not bad. Mm. 
Alright, potentially. No. Alright, maybe. Yes, alright, moving along here. Thank you. Okay, we're done with this split. Good. Alright, do it two more times. <laughs> Hopefully we get a little better luck than that. That was pretty bad. But we shall see. Nintendo. Next up, player three. No, that's player two. Oh. Yes, hello. Welcome back. Alright, player three. Oh, I gotta remember, uh, sea bass is still needed. Except for player four, who already got one. I'm gonna need some good RNG here. I already have the giant catfish for this player, which is really nice. Get one of these. There we are. Alright. Need the catfish though. For some reason, I never got a catfish for this for this character. Sixty percent chance. Awesome. All right, let the piranha and angelfish fun begin anew. I will catch any fish at the moment. Any small fish. Okay. Hoping for better RNG this time. That would be very welcomed. Alright. I don't remember- one of these players caught a freshwater goby, I don't remember which one. If it matters, I will check.
Don't need that. It's neither a piranha nor an angelfish. Okay, this could be an angelfish. Yes! Let's go! Alright, alright. How are we doing? Yes, this character caught a freshwater goby. I just need a piranha now. Oh, that's fantastic. Alright, piranhas are very easy to test. Still a one in a hundred, but should be quick compared to the angelfish. Basically, an arapaima with like a, uh, a little slower on average. I caught three of them for player two. So, uh, you know, I just need one of those for player three. Oh. Can you, can we please cast the rod? Not like that. Gonna, I would love a quick piranha. It would make me very happy because my RNG has been abysmal uh, lately. I was just checking the time. Oh my goodness. Not great RNG for the piranha. Should have found one by now. It's all right. What's up, Wavelength? Yep. Going hard on this uh, challenge. Speed run. Uh, I am running out of time, though. Like, IRL. Which is a bit of a bummer, because I am really close. There we go. Piranha, get... Keep going. Done with player three.
Yeah, it's chill. Having a good time. Alright. Here we go. Need the giant catfish. Uh, yeah, I got insanely unlucky with a banded dragonfly catch earlier. Or not a catch, I just, there wasn't an opportunity. It was over 30 to 40 minutes of banded dragonfly hunting without one even op opportunity. It's not like I even missed an opportunity. And then when I found... Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Whatever, at least it was a fast... It was a fast giant catfish. Uh, and that also just happened. Okay, all right. We we got another opportunity. So this one's not quite as convenient, but it's got a pretty big range, pretty big radius. Just needs to There we go. All right, we got it. All right, that's good. That didn't lose that much time. Whew. Moving along. Time for angelfish and piranha again. Last time. Okay, we'll get that out of the way. Fine. It was, uh, I was, it's fine, it's so whatever. Okay, that's done. Wait, I don't want to catch this. Alright, right, we're switching back to a regular rod now, so I can determine the fish. Uh, I'm not sure. It could be a piranha. It's not an angelfish, though. Yeah. Right. Uh, it could have been a piranha. I mean, it was a 1 in 15. It was not an angelfish, which is what I was testing for. I'm not sure. Okay, well. Now we know. You know what? Let's go for a dace. Just for fun. Could be one. Ah, oh, it was a brook trout. <laughs> that was 5% uh, to be a brook trout. Funny. We'll get a dace in winter, it's fine. Alright, it's not a piranha. Could be an angelfish, not sure though. 
Nope. Could be an angelfish. One in four. I think we're back. Stream died. Sorry about that. Um, thankfully, I'm doing a local recording. And also, you didn't miss anything. No, nah, we're, we're good. We're good. We are back for uh, for now. Don't worry, I will say goodbye when I'm ready to uh, end stream. My apologies on my stream dying. Also, we're getting very bad luck. Dang it. Not what I need at the moment. Oh, that, that's a that's a piranha, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, alright. We got one. Alright, angelfish time. Oh boy. Here we go again. Uh, I don't know what this is. The final angelfish. Can we get it soon? I would love that so that I can continue. We have a possibility here. Dang it. Freshwater goby number four. We're in bad luck territory. Again for the angelfish for player four. Alright, we have a potential here. Not really sure yet. No, that's unlikely. Yeah. Just outside the radius for the f uh, first cast. Alright. Just a few more one in a hundreds. Just a few more. I'm so close. Dang it, that's a piranha. I'm almost positive. That sucks. Come on, angelfish. Alright. Not the greatest. Alright, potential. One in four. No! Freshwater goby number five. Come on. 
so close. This is the last really, uh, really annoying catch. Hey, Abby. Welcome. Yeah, this is the last, like, terrible one. The koi is kind of bad. But this is worse. By a little bit. So it's only going to get easier from here on out once I catch this thing. I don't know about that radius. Yeah. So close. So close. Not... Yeah. Not over. Okay, we got a 1 and 4 again. No! Dang it, I have no idea. Alright, All right, it's not a piranha. Can this fish please? Oh my goodness. Ah, nope. It's bad. Nope. I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay. One more angelfish. <laughs> Just need one more. I'm not sure. We'll see. Nope, freshwater goby. Number seven. I should have caught two angelfish by now. Dang it. Not a piranha. Not playing nice. I don't know. Yeah, bummer. Not a piranha. Okay, could be an angelfish. One in four. Again. <sighs> nope. Nope. I don't think this is anything. Hey, what's up, Groat? Thank you for the good luck. I appreciate it. I need it badly at the moment. That's a piranha. You've got to be kidding me.
This is just as bad as player two's uh, angelfish. Okay, potentially. No. <laughs> Oof. Not the RNG I need to get to bed on time. Alright, we have ourselves a potential angelfish again. This cat this this speedrun was a uh, a horrible decision as far as RNG is concerned. <laughs> It is, uh, it is brutal. Started off strong. Ugh, oh, it has gone downhill so fast. Ever since the banded dragonfly fiasco. It has been... It's been terrible. Okay, we have another potential angelfish. Please. Please. Thank you. Alright, it lives barely, kind of, sort of. Splits in March. Here we go. Starting with the ladybug. I already have that one. What is what is this? What what is happening here? Make sure we're good over here. Oh, I actually needed both ladybugs. 
Alright, got them both. Alright, fish. <clears throat> Not a cherry sand. Yo, what's up, Fricks? Cool! Freshwater goby. <laughs> That's funny, I actually did need a dace. Looking for a large char. <clears throat> nice, Fricks. Congrats. That is... Does feel good to have a good laptop. <clears throat> Alright. Nope. Don't need this. Oh, my goodness. Not a great start. We'll say that much. Not a great, not a great March start. <laughs> okay, come on, Koi. Actually, anything really, except for large bass. Is this a large bass? <clears throat> I think this is a cherry salmon. Or a freshwater goby. Oh my goodness. You've got to be kidding me. What a joke. Terrible march to start off with. Come on, large char. Let's make up for it. That's not a large char, but I'll catch it anyways. Great, more days. Am I even in March? <laughs> if I was in April, it would be the same odds. Alright. There we go, large char, most likely. Yes. <clears throat> Alright, cherry salmon, rainbow trout, and any other large fish I encounter. Any second now, this fish is going to get in range. That's a cherry salmon. We're going to go ahead and catch it. Okay, it's a goldenrod. You should, uh, you should like this. What is this fish doing? There we go. Alright, just need the rainbow trout. Hey, what's up, Ashy? Welcome. I'm glad you're enjoying the runs. Thank you very much. Well, this is another long one. To enjoy... Okay, more dace. Kind of need to go to bed. <laughs> Would love to uh, get... Okay, we'll catch large... We'll catch large fish. Could be koi's. Still need carps. Okay, okay. Good. I'll take it. Rainbow Trout. Super common. Let's see the Rainbow Trout. I don't think it's a Dace, so we got that going for us. Okay, very good. Done here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hi, Jade. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hi. Jade, I'm trying to speed run. You are very adorable and you, and uh, and I will give you lots of love and attention, but I am on a time crunch. I am feeling the pressure, Jade. I need to uh, need to get this going. Where the heck are the ladybugs? Yo, what's up, Smokey? Thank you very much for the prime. Thank you for the seven months. Appreciate that. Alright, we got the ladybugs for player three. Here we go. Let this fun begin. I should have got the goldenrod from player four, but too late. Alright, we got our cherry salmon. Glad you enjoyed the 100% run. Ah, uh, yeah, the the YouTube videos I put effort into, I am glad you uh, appreciate them. All right, a bass, not what I need at the moment. But thank you very much, I appreciate that. Come on, large char number three. Get the loach out of the way. Never mind. Nice. Okay, it went over there. It's a weird place, but I can work with that. Ah, uh, sucks. No, dude. The large char. I can't let this get away. We're good. We're good. Nice. Excellent. Oops. Just need the loach and rainbow trout. Oh, hello. The rainbow trout from the other acre. Or the fish from the other acre. It's a daze. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, not a... Oh, wait, that could be a daze. This, this is probably... Oh, okay, we're good. Alright, just need that loach, and I'll catch any large fish I find as well. Oh, wait, no, I don't want to catch any large fish. Player 3 already has a koi. Wait. Yeah, Player 3 has everything, all the large fish. Just need that loach, come on. Loach is super common. Thank you. Here we go. Oh, whoops. There we go. Actually, neither of those splits were correct. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's fine. Thank you. 
They were close enough. Alright. Next. Player two. Alright, just need the uh, seven spotted ladybug. Why are the ladybugs doing this to me? Why? Thank you. Alright, we're done with done with flowers. Next. Large char, number four. That is not a cherry salmon. I don't even want it. Could be a cherry salmon, but I don't think it is. Nice. Ah, here we go again with this. That was a good cast. I don't know. Oh, yes, it is. Okay, nice. Quick large trout. I need that right now. Excellent. Rainbow trout and cherry salmon. I don't even care. Whatever that is. Nope, not a cherry salmon. Not a cherry salmon. Come on, koi? Ah, I don't... I don't... It's not a big deal. Cherry salmon. Nope. Come on. Okay, loach. Alright, there's our cherry salmon. Good. Probably. Yep. Alright. Just need a rainbow trout now. And I'll catch a large fish if I find any. Come on. Feels like a rainbow trout, or a bass. Okay, nice. Alright, we're done with March. Quick, uh, one check for a large fish. Nope. Alright. Done with March. Next up. Player four is going to be house two. We're, we're so close. Got to make sure I go to a Saturday in winter. Hey, what's up, Wiz? Yo, thank you very much for the sub. Whoa, indeed. Good to see ya. Alright, that'll work. Player 4 already has the golden rod in hand.
Thank you very much for the sub. And we're going to go ahead and start looking for bagworms. Oh, I need the shovel at some point as well. Might as well get it now. So I can also look out for pill bugs. Okay, just need three quick pill bugs. You know, no big deal. Need some bees. Gonna need some good RNG here. <laughs> please and thank you. Pretty please. Alright, not a great start, but that's alright. There we go. Needed that. Excellent. I'm not going to mark the bugs off for now, because all the players are going to need them. Oh, where's that axe at? I'm finally going to use that axe. Thank you for the good luck. I'm on the final stretch. Looking for bees. Bees, please. Not great. Not, not great. Yeah. There we go. Alright. There's a bee. Get that out of the way. Need a pill bug and the mole cricket. Pill bugs are five percent. Uh, 
I need to find a better pill bug spot. Actually, this one's pretty good because we got fish to look at as well. We can check for rare fish at the same time. All right, let's start fishing. We need a koi. Okay, it's fine. Get that out of the way. Oh, wait. I don't need this. Oh, yo, let's go, stringfish. Yes! Alright, we got one of the big ones. While I'm looking for a pill bug. Excellent. Not great luck with this pill bug, unfortunately, though. Let's go over to this acre. We might have better luck. Because they can be my eyes. They can look at the rock. Except they're talking to each other. That rock cannot have a pill bug, because it's two spaces away from the edge of an acre. Look, I'm going to need one of you to go look at that rock. There is no record for this challenge. But I'm in a I'm panicking because I need to go to bed like now. Or yeah. So that's why I'm that's why I'm like sort of rushing. Or like not not just cuz it's a speed run, but that is very important. And I'm so close to finishing. I've already invested eight and a half hours. It would be so sad if I stopped. There's our pill bug. Alright, one more bug. One bug left for player four. This is exciting. The mole cricket. Yeah, this is, this is a tough, tough run for sure. All right, this should be the last bug for player four. Yes! All bugs for two players complete. Now, the final... There's another balloon. Now, the final fish. Come on, if I get a quick koi, I really need a quick koi. Yes! Oh my goodness! 
Let's go. Oh my goodness, that is huge. Oh, that I, I needed that. Yes. Bitterling. Now just a pawn smelt. I did manifest that koi. No kidding. What? Oh, that was a bitterling. We're good. Wait, do I have all the large fish? I do. I just need the pond smell. <laughs> Where's the pond smell at? That one other small fish, I tiny fish that got away, that was a bitterling. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Get out of here, you stupid goldfish. I need a pond smell. What are the odds? Two bitterlings and a goldfish. That looks like a pawn smelt. Oh my goodness. This is silly. Silly now. This is now we're just being silly. Pawn smelt is the most common fish in winter, and I'm struggling to find it. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Player four. Done. House two. Let's go drop off these things for player three. And talk to some villagers. I caught every fish. What? Did I not catch every bug? I did. Oh, it's because I just met TR for the first time. Let's go! I did it. Alright, that is house two. Both the fish weather vane and bug placker on it. All right. Excellent. Two to go. I already have a koi for player three. I do need to get a sea bass for player three, though. We're going to go back a day so I can find bees again. Actually, you know what? No. Because I already checked a ton of trees. Player three. We have to go find uh, sea bass anyways. Alright. If we find a quick bee, then we'll change it. But for now, I need a bagworm. Actually, I might as well find a bee first, since I could randomly find a bagworm. I'm gonna check this tree. Okay. All right, looking for another bee. Oh, that was a pear tree, my bad. Oh, there goes the axe. Wish I had more axes. Time to shake. Oh, nice, found a second bee. Yes. All right, excellent. Nice rock for a pill bug. I guess I didn't realize there was a rock down here. Oh, there's a good rock. Hey, what's up, Joe Cow? Thanks for the good luck. Alright, back to bag worms. Come on. Yes! Quick bagworm. Exactly what I need right now. Alright, next up. Same strat as before. 
look for stringfish while I look for the pill bug. That seemed to have worked once. Yeah, decomp, I think they're at like 10% almost, I think. Oh, this pill bug's kind of been a pain. Yeah, it's going to be a while till they're finished, but it's going to be amazing. The potential for mods and understanding everything about this game um, is huge. It is very exciting. Dang it, this sucks. Thought I heard the mole cricket. Alright, well. I need this pill bug ASAP. Yes, thank you. Just need that mole cricket, and then we're done with bugs for player three. No string fish yet, unfortunately. But that's alright. Oops. I miss a hole over here? No. Alright, come on. Oh, I hear it. I hear it. What? I swore I I swore I heard it. What? Come on, no 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 no. I need I need this mole cricket like now. <laughs> There we go. All right. All the bugs for player three. Oh, I still need the sea bass. I'm going to go do that before I forget. Dang it. I forgot about that little, uh, little detail. Right, I was supposed to get that as I was running down here looking for bees. 
That was the whole point of coming down this way. Alright, sea bass. I need a... Wait, let me see which uh, fish I... Okay, all I need... Wait, all I need the string fish, right? Yeah. String fish, pond smelt, bitterling. Then we're done with player three. Then it's one player remains. Can we get sub nine hours? It's gonna be close. It's gonna be really close, actually. Gonna need some good RNG from here on out. I'm so glad I already have a already have a koi for player three. That is really nice. All right, I think this is a bitterling based off its behavior. I'm not sure though. Okay, nice. Just need the string fish. One in a hundred. Gonna need it. Gonna need it quickly. If I have a chance at sub nine. Yes. Oh my goodness. I need. I needed this. Yes! All right! All right, all right! Player three is done! As soon as I talk to two villagers. Okay, 10 minute winter split for player three. That's, that is very good. Excellent! All right, let's talk to anyone but Tiara. You, Ace. Yes, I caught every bug. And every fish. Yes. All right. Here we go. Player two is all that's left. Oh, you know what? It's not 8 p.m. on Saturday. I'm going to... I think I got decently lucky with the trees. I'm going to go ahead and go to a different Saturday, and it has to be 8 p.m. I need to change the time anyways. It's all good. Alright. Player two. Here we go. The final... The final stretch. Oh yeah, that was a split. Alright. Alright, first things first. Let's go look for bees. Please, fast bees. Just one more good bee. <laughs> I hear a mole cricket. I'm tempted to find it right now. I hear it is loud and clear.
Nah, waste of time. Never mind. Back to bees. Dang it. Bummer. No. Okay, yes. Alright, we're done with bees. Let's go. Sea bass. Done with sea bass. Yes. <laughs> Alright, up next, bagworm. And I'll uh, look for pill bugs as well. A quick pill bug would be very nice. All right, bagworms. Here we go. The final push. Imagine one of these trees has bees in it. Oh my goodness, a bagworm. Done with bagworms. Oh my goodness. Okay. There's KK Slider ready to play a beautiful song for me. Next, pill bug checks while we look for string fish. This worked out last time pretty well. It worked out well enough. Okay, we do need a koi for this player. Ten percent. Okay, that's it guaranteed. We're done with barbel steeds. Done with pond smelts. Come on, pill bug. This pill bug has been a real pain. A large bass? Come on, no, that's the same odds as a koi. Dang it. I think it's a pond smelt. I'm not going to catch it. Nice, we're done with tiny fish. Two large fish, one giant fish, a mole cricket and a pill bug. It's all that stands between me and finishing this challenge. So close. Oh. 
Can we get the sub nine? I'm gonna get the mole cricket out of the way. Nice. Mole Cricket's done. Just a pill bug for the last bug. And then, you know, a few fish. Nothing major. Go, TR, let's go over here and look at look for pill bugs. See if you see any on that rock. The problem with this acre is also has a rock at the lower part as well. Come on, let's get this pill bug out of the way. Finish this. Nope. Dang it. Alright, we'll go back over here then. Come on, pill bug, please. Come on. All right, koi. I'm getting, I'm getting, uh, I'm getting a little anxious. That's fine. It wasn't the string fish. Hello. Stringfish is done. Yes. All right. Just need the koi. Let's just finish. Let's, uh, yeah, let's keep looking for the koi. That worked out, didn't it? <laughs> oh. This pill bug is a problem. This is this pill bug is a real problem. Dang it, dude. This fish is not cooperating. Okay, that's good. All right, seven minutes. Take a deep breath. Seven minutes till sub nine. We can do this. It can be done. I think it's a large bass. Dang it. I'm gonna catch it, I guess. Oh, it wasn't. Okay, I'm glad I caught it. It wasn't a koi, though. 
One in ten for every large fish to be a koi. Back to the pill bug. Dude, this pill bug is gonna- is killing me. Literally ending this, like, <laughs> causing major problems. Come on, pill bug. Dude. Alright, carp is guaranteed to be done. A koi and a pill bug. Five minutes. Let's just get the koi out of the way. It sucks I'm finishing on pill bug, or I'm gonna plan on finishing on pill bug. Come on, koi. I need this for sub-9. No! That was a 50-50. Yeah, this pill is bugging me. <laughs> this pill bug's bugging me. That's right. It is being a pill. That was a 50-50 to be a koi. Large bass and koi are the same rarity. At least the stringfish is out of the way. We got one of them. Four minutes. I don't know if this is going to happen. I'm going to need some really good luck. I'm going to finish this, though. It's it's This is getting finished, because I'm like... I'm so close. I'm one fish and one bug away from finishing this challenge. <laughs> I'm going to need a minute to, like... Go talk to KK Slider. Are you kidding me, dude? That's a large bass. Same odds as the koi again. One bug, one fish. Come on. Come on, I'm so close. No. Nine hours of commitment down to one bug and one fish. Three minutes till nine minutes. Come on, Koi. I'm going to need you, like, in the next three fish, if not sooner. If not now. How about now? Yes! Yes, we got the Koi! It's just a pill bug. Oh, my goodness. It's coming... Sub-9's coming down to a pill bug. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> We're done with that. Uh, Sub-9 is coming down to a pill... A stupid pill bug. Come on, pill bug. You are not that rare. You are acting like the rarest bug in existence. Come on. Come on, dude. <laughs> Come on, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Yes! Yes! <laughs> Let's go! It's gonna happen! <laughs> Let's go!
Drop all of that quick. Talk to two villagers. <laughs> Get our bug plaques. We'll go confirm them. Who's out? You. I don't care. Hello. We got time to talk to you and greet you. I did it. I'm amazing. Thank you. <laughs> I did it. Let's go. <laughs> confirm. Plaque. Weather vane. Plaque. Weather vane. Plaque. Weather vane. Plaque, weather vane. Yo, KK Slider, how's it going? Oh yeah. <laughs> nah, you can you can you can do it. KK Fusion. Yes! <laughs> Sub nine, let's go! <laughs> I did it! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Sub 9 for a category I made up today. Wow. <laughs> Why was it so close? <laughs> but it doesn't matter! That's it. Wow. So unnecessarily stressful at the end. It happened though. GG. <laughs> KK Fusion's great, by the way. <sighs> All right, let's uh, let's finish this song out. Save. Call it a stream. I gotta go to bed. I am an hour overdue for going into bed. <sighs> You are all here. Thanks for watching, everyone. Yay, I got a YouTube video. <laughs> Alright, who wants to compete for this time? Who wants to beat nine hours? It'll be tough, even with the 30-minute uh, Banded Dragonfly blunder. Well, it wasn't a blunder, it was just bad RNG. And then I lost about 20 minutes to Angelfish. So... Like, compared to average luck. So, you know, you could save... You could theoretically get sub-8 with pretty good luck. I don't know why I'm mashing. <sighs> all player statues. All bugs and fish for all four players. All done in under nine hours. I'm gonna consider that a win, even with the ridiculous banded dragonfly mishap. Sorry, we didn't even get to listen to the song. There we go. Good stuff. Yes. <laughs> KK Fusion's great. Alright, I gotta go to bed. GG, you are here. Oh, my heart's racing. It happened, though. Sub 9. <laughs> Alright, thanks again for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this speedrun. Good luck to anyone who decides to beat this time. It would be very tough. But, anyways, thanks for watching. Have a good rest of your day or evening, and I will see you all later. <laughs>